Hey guys, in today's video we are going to see the history of the Lost Angels complete until the moment of part 1 to 7 and here you will see that Goku will find an incredible way to have more power. So he grabs a bucket of popcorn and his soda and comes with me and of course don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Well without further ado let's get started. Currently it is possible to see that Zeno is the strongest being in all the universes, but that day he was very bored so he decided to call a person to play with him. Zeno calls out, High Priest speaks Zeno-sama to the strongest angel who was responsible for him. Daishinkin replies, What do you wish sir said the angel looking at Zeno. Zeno says, I'm bored, so can you call Son Goku to play with me? Asked Zeno to the High Priest. Daishinkin replies, Sure. Wait a minute said the angel, concentrating and teleports with Zeno to the place where Goku is the same when he got there nothing was understood Zeno happy to see his friend says Goku Zeno said flying towards the scion that the moment he saw he understood why he was there he soon took Zeno as if he were a child then Goku says hi Zeno sama said the scion looking down Zeno replies Goku let's play ask Zeno while looking at scion Goku replies sure let's go said the scion as he and Zeno started to run that way it was the day of the two together and Goku and Zeno played everything like police and thief and and hide and seek and several other games and of course during the games Zeno used some of his powers like cloning to look for Goku teleport to catch him on the pike other than that the two played to change their clothes where Goku used Zeno's clothes and Zeno used Goku's clothes something that the two found very strange but the two really enjoyed this game Daishinkin looking at all that says it's been a long time since I've seen the Zenos as excited as today said the high priest while looking at Zeno and Goku who were running around while wearing each other's clothes and that's that's how Zeno and Goku spent the whole day playing with each other. It had been about a month since Zeno and Goku were playing all day. It was currently possible to see Zeno floating around until he had an idea. Zeno spoke. High Priest called to Zeno-sama. Daishinkin said, What do you want Zeno-sama said the High Priest while making a brief reference to Zeno-sama. Zeno said, I have an idea. I want to go to Universe 7 and play with Goku on Earth. Zeno-sama spoke to the High Priest who was a little surprised but then gave a smile to Zeno-sama. Daishinkin asked, But why do you want to play with Son Goku? Asked the angel to Zeno-sama. Zeno said, Simple, since the day of the Tournament of Power I have nothing to do and this is something very annoying complained Zeno-sama to the High Priest so I want to go down to Earth to play with Goku and see how strong he is he was spoken both Zeno's excited and looking forward to playing around and seeing Son Goku's new power level. Daishinkin said, if this is what you want Zeno-sama said the high priest before sending a message to his son Whis the angel of universe 7. Zeno said happily, yay, so let's go said Zeno-sama before his two guards appeared at his side, then Zeno took the hands of each of the guards and soon they were all teleported to universe 7's planet earth. In the 7th universe, Currently on Earth it was possible to see Goku and Vegeta training both in their base forms on an island far away from civilization, and not far away was Beerus and Whis sitting while eating several different foods from savory to sweet, until Whis notices his staff glowing showing that he had an unread message. Whis thought, a message from my father? I wonder what happened thought the angel before reading what his father Daishinkin sent him. Beerus spoke, what was Whis is filled by some case the god of destruction of universe 7 spoke to the angel. Whis said, it's just that my father sent me a warning that soon he and Zeno-sama arrived on land said the angel making Beerus turn white as paper and very scared. Beerus said, Zeno-sama here in universe 7? But what does he want here? Asked the god of destruction to his angel and master. Whis said, apparently, Zeno-sama was bored so he asked my father to bring him to earth for him to play with Lord Goku said the angel with a smile on his face as he pointed to the scion who was still fighting Vegeta but now both in their divine forms. Beerus thought, the Goku? Soon this idiot, I hope he doesn't do something too stupid or else we'll all die thought the god of destruction afraid of being destroyed while looking at scion son Goku. It didn't take long for a large beam of energy to appear from the skies and reveal Zeno-sama who was accompanied by his two bodyguards and the high priest. Soon Goku and Vegeta who were still fighting stopped immediately and the two flew to the shore and both returned to their normal forms. Goku said, Zeno-sama, what are you doing here on earth? Sion asked Zeno-sama. Zeno said, I came here to play with you like that day and I also came to try the foods of the earth and see how strong you are currently Zeno-sama spoke happily as he flew around Goku. 
Goku said, Atta, well then let's eat after all all this training made me very hungry said the scion as he took Zeno-sama to one of the tables in the place. Vegeta thought, he treats a being stronger than a god of destruction as if he were a mere child the prince of the Saiyans thought as he looked at Goku and Zeno-sama. Beerus said, if Zeno-sama wants to eat then he can eat whatever you want said the god of destruction trembling before the presence of Zeno-sama and his guards who were sitting at the table next to Zeno. Goku said, Bulma you can make more food for us to eat said the scion to his light blue haired friend. Bulma said, sure, do you have any preferences? The woman asked her friend and Zeno-sama. Goku said, a little bit of everything said the scion to the woman who wasn't too surprised by her childhood friend's answer. Bulama said, well I already expected that from you said the woman while sighing and looking at Goku who was scratching the back of his head. It didn't take long for all the dishes to be ready and soon everyone ate, Zeno-sama and Daishinkin were the ones who were most surprised by the taste of the food. Zeno said, wow, this food is really delicious Zeno-sama spoke as he put another forkful of Bolognese noodles in his mouth. Daishinkin said, I must agree with Zeno-sama, this is really very delicious said the high priest as he looked at his son eating at another table along with Beerus who ate while looking at Zeno-sama. Wiss said, the food here on earth is really divine, but the best are the desserts like the brigadiers, ice cream and the most delicious of all the strawberry cake said the angel almost drooling thinking about the strawberry cake that Bulma knows how to make. Bulma said, since you like my cake so much you can eat Wiss said the woman putting a strawberry cake in front of Wiss and another in front of Zeno-sama. Wiss said, oh how I love you Bulma said the angel before starting to eat his strawberry cake with Beerus it's very tasty said the angel after eating the first piece of cake. Zeno said, this is very tasty said while eating a piece of cake. Soon everyone ate as much as possible like Goku who ate quickly so he could play with Zeno and then go back to training with Vegeta. After Goku and Zeno finished eating they both start playing together like they did before like hide and seek, jump rope and fly together. After an afternoon full of pranks, Goku and Zeno are sitting on the beach until Zeno has an idea. Zeno said, Goku, your power level was impressive during the power tournament and especially after you managed to use Ultra Instinct's power, so I'd like to see how strong you are against that other scion Zeno Sama said to Goku while pointing at Vegeta. Goku said, do you want me to fight Vegeta to show my current level of power? Scion asked Zeno. Zeno said, yes, I want to see how strong you have become since the tournament of power and especially how great your mastery over Ultra Instinct is Zeno said excitedly while looking at Goku who smiles and gets up and goes towards Vegeta. Goku says, Vegeta Zeno-sama wants to see how strong I am currently, so he asked you and I to fight each other said the Scion with a smile on his face to the Prince of Saiyans. Vegeta said, so Zeno-sama wants me to face you? Of course, I don't see the slightest problem the Prince of Saiyans spoke to Goku, then both Saiyans were flying over the water and soon the fight between the two begins. Vegeta and the one who makes the first move trying to hit a right hook on Goku who using his speed manages to dodge the attack, Goku seeing that Vegeta was with his guard down tried to land a punch on Vegeta, but that was something Vegeta had already expected then he uses his arm to defend himself from Goku's attack and then he tries to punch Goku who does the same thing. Because of the blow, a great wind is created, soon the two separate and transform into their super side in one forms, and soon they advance on top of each other and soon a shower of blows is created when the two try to hit each other, seeing that direct combat wouldn't work Vegeta walks away and prepares several key blows and throws at Goku who is jumping from one side to the other to dodge the attack and the ones he didn't dodge he defended. Goku seeing that it would not go anywhere he uses his teleport and appears on top of Vegeta hitting him with both closed fists causing the Prince of Saiyans to be thrown to the bottom of the sea. Soon the waters start to get strange until he reveals Vegeta in his Super Saiyan blue form. Goku seeing this does the same thing. Soon the two disappear and reappear in front of each other and soon begin to attack each other and Vegeta was at first beating Goku until Vegeta couldn't land any more blows from Vegeta who realizes that now Goku was using Ultra Instinct in his form. Foreboding, Goku, now tired of dodging, begins to land several blows on Vegeta and then kick Vegeta making him cross a mountain that was near the island where Zeno and the rest of the staff were watching the fight between the two. Zeno once said, how amazing, Goku is much stronger than before said Zeno-sama while looking at the fight between Goku and Vegeta. 
Zeno too said that other Scion Vegeta is also much stronger than before in his new form said the other Zeno Sama while watching the Scions fight. Vegeta said, now I'm going with everything Kakaroto said the Prince of Saiyans as the mountain he was on starts to disappear until a large amount of ki emerged and Vegeta was now using his superior ego transformation. Goku said, then come with everything Vegeta said the Scion raising his ki and transforming into his full ultra instinct form. Soon Vegeta and Goku in their maximum transformations advance towards each other. The moment the two clash their attacks ends up making all the water around them rise to the skies. The two begin to attack each other with everything, every punch they collide with. Generated cracks in the earth and made the previously cloudy sky open up because of the pressure of the wind. And so the fight between the two Saiyans lasts until Vegeta can no longer hit Goku who using his incredible speed started to hit Vegeta all over the place sides until Vegeta is defeated by Goku. Goku said, wow, this fight was a really cool training. We should do it again someday Vegeta said the Scion who was a little injured by the fight between them. Vegeta said, don't think you're the strongest Kakaroto. I'll train even more and I'll defeat you said the Prince of the Saiyans. Also hurt because of the fight against Goku who just laughs when he heard what Vegeta said. Zeno one said, Goku that was really cool said Zeno sama to the Scion while looking at him with stars in his eyes. Zeno 2 said, yes very cool, but I have another idea, how about you fight an angel to see how strong you are compared to an angel said Zeno sama leaving everyone in the place surprised and shocked especially Wiss. Wiss said, no, an angel fighting a mortal or even trying to interfere and a clear violation of our rules, if that happens the angel will be killed automatically Wiss said to Zeno sama who got a little angry as they were disobeying. Zeno 2 said, if you don't do what I say I'll destroy universe 7 said Zeno sama making everyone afraid of this happening, especially Beerus who started to break a cold sweat at the thought of being erased like in the tournament of power. Beerus said, Wiss if you don't fight we will all die speaks the god of destruction in fear of death. Wiss spoke, and if I fight I will be erased, so either you or me said the angel while looking at Beerus who was very scared. Goku said, Zeno sama please don't destroy my universe, Wiss can't fight because of this restriction so if he didn't have then we could fight each other Scion said to Zeno sama who had an idea and then looked at the high priest. Zeno one said, if we remove this restriction he will be able to fight Goku so high priest remove the restriction from universe 7 angel Zeno sama spoke in an authoritative tone to Daishinkan. Daishinkan spoke, as you wish Zeno sama said the high priest before pointing his finger at Wiss who soon felt as if something was holding him back before now it was, I removed your restraint my son, now you can fight again truth against Sim Goku the angel spoke to his son. Wiss said, I only fight after eating something very tasty said the angel to his father and Zeno sama and the rest of the group were scared as he was going against Zeno samas wishes. Vegeta thought, he's already eaten everything here so he doesn't have anything that's very tasty for him. Wait, I know something he's going to like a lot the Prince of Saiyans thought before running towards a house in that island and come back with a pot of noodles that Bulma recognized right away. Bulma thought, instant noodles woman wondered as she watched her husband handing the noodles to Whis who ate it quickly. Whis said, delicious, so now we can fight Mr. Goku said the angel in front of the scion who couldn't contain his excitement to fight Whis. Daishinkan said, how did you get out of that seal? The high priest asked the mysterious angel who was in front of him seriously. Then the mysterious angel replies, it wasn't very difficult after you used the super dragon balls to bring all the universes back. At that moment it turned out that your seal was very weak. So me and mom along with the rest of my brothers managed to do it. Free us from that prison. But they were all too weak as they used all our power to break the seal. The mysterious angel spoke while looking at his father, but Wiss hearing about his mother and brothers ended up manifesting. Then Wiss says, Our mother, but that's impossible she was erased hundreds of years ago. Screamed Wiss to his brother, but mysterious angel responds Wiss saying the following, You really don't know one bit of the true story of how our mother was erased from existence, so are you going to tell it or I'll tell father? The mysterious angel asked his father who said nothing. Mysterious angel continues saying, My name is Khan, the angel who was responsible for Universe 7. Said the angel now named Khan. When he said that everyone in the place was in shock everyone thought, What do you mean he is the angel responsible for our Universe 7? And that moment everyone present at the place couldn't believe what they had just heard. Wiss said, How so? I am the angel responsible for Universe 7 since its creation. Wiss said while looking at his brother. Khan replies, You are responsible for this seven universe. 
Before there was this seven universe, there was another one, and in this one, I was responsible. So I hope our father tells the whole truth, or I will have to talk about this is about our mother. Said the angel while looking at his father who had a very serious face. Khan spoke. Hundreds of years ago, there were 13 universes in total. At that time in the angels, we didn't have any non-interference rule, and we could even kill ourselves if necessary. Said the angel making everyone in the place, including Zeno, be surprised. Khan said. At that time, we all lived in harmony and happy, until one day the old god of destruction was defeated and killed by a new god of destruction. When I saw that I was very sad, but I had nothing to do, the rules were like that, but this new god of destruction was arrogant and boastful, and me seeing that I was very angry for what he had done in killing and humiliating the old god of destruction, so I decided to take my anger out and killed him. Speaks the angel now very much rage. Khan said. The result and of course I had to kill him. When I said that to our mother she understood why I killed him, but when our father found out he said that I did something unforgivable and decided to erase me. But the our mother didn't let it and she fought against our father. The result was of course he defeated her and erased our mother. So all the angels decided to revolt and defeat our father but we were all defeated. So it ended up that we were erased. Said the angel making Wiss cry for knowing that his mother could be dead. But Wiss felt anger for what his father did. Dashinkin said. But in the end I never erased any of them. Thanks to their mother all the angels that were erased were sent to another dimension. Where I created a seal that would prevent any of them from leaving. After that I erased all the planets of the earth, 13 universe that became the prison of all the angels that were erased, said the high priest quietly to everyone in the place. Wiss said, So does that mean that all my brothers, sisters, and my mother were locked up for hundreds of years just because you thought it was wrong for my brother to kill a god of destruction? Asked Wiss already angry at his father. Khan said, You understand me brother, I'm glad to know that, but now I have to finish my mission which is to avenge all my brothers who were sealed because of you father. Said the angel while looking at his father who already understood what would happen. Zeno 1 asks, Will the high priest fight against his son? Asked Zeno 1 to Zeno 2. Zeno 2 says, Awesome, I thought Goku's fight against this universe's angel wiss would be cool, but this new fight is going to be super cool. Said Zeno Sama, excited to see the fight. Khan, already tired of all that advances at high speed towards his father, Daishinkin, seeing this, assumes a more serious expression and soon he advances towards his son. The moment that Daishinkin and Khan exchanged their first blow the pressure of the wind was so intense that it ended up making the clouds in the sky disappear as if they had never existed. Each blow was so intense that it made everything around him destroy. If not Wiss who was creating a barrier, probably Bulma and the others with low fighting power would have been killed by the large amount of divine ki in the place. Zeno once said, How amazing, with every punch they make the earth is destroyed. Spoken Zeno Sama impressed with the fight. Zeno too said, It's amazing, so this is the power of the great priest when he fights, but is he really fighting? Asked Zeno Sama who wanted to see the full power and potential of the high priest. Guard one thought. It's been a long time since we've seen the great priest fight seriously. Thought one of Zeno Sama's guards who was on Zeno Sama's left side while another guard made a barrier to protect the two Zeno. Guard two said. Is this the power of the original universe seven angel? I must say that such fighting power is impressive. He and the others must have trained a lot to stay at that level. Thought the other guard who was on Zeno's right side and how much help making the barrier to protect Zeno. Zeno. Both guards thought. But if I remember correctly he was the weakest among the angels at that time, so the others must be much more powerful than ever. Thought both of Zeno-sama's guards as they looked at the fight between father and son. And in this Daishinkin fight against his son Khan, both were facing each other for real Khan was already getting breathless from the fight, Daishinkin was still normal without a drop of sweat on his face. Khan said, It seems that now it's time for me to go with everything I have, said the angel raising his key to the maximum making a small universe under himself, then a white aura is around his body Goku who was looking that knew what power was that. Goku said, This is ultra instinct, said the scion seeing Khan with a white aura around his body. Vegeta said, His ultra instinct seems many times better than Kakarotos, and the energy he releases is much more intense, said the prince of Saiyans as he watched the fight between the two angels. Khan now with the power of Ultra Instinct advances with everything towards Daishinkin and he ends up hitting his father's face, making him fly away. Daishinkin already tired of playing with his son, he decided to fight more seriously and end with all that fun. Nervous Daishinkin said, Enough of this joke. Khan I'll just give a warning give up this fight and I won't have to erase you, but this time it's for real. 
warned the high priest seriously to his son, who didn't care what his father said. Khan replies, I won't give up the hundreds of years I trained to face you. I won't give up, said the angel already preparing to continue the fight. Daishinkin said, So you chose your own death by my hands, so be it my son Khan, said the high priest before raising his key further and teleporting in front of his son punching his face doing the same fly away. Before Khan could do anything Daishinkin appeared on his back and kicked him, Daishinkin started teleporting several times and attacking Khan because of the rain of attacks Khan couldn't even breathe. Daishinkin said, It ends now my son Khan said the high priest making a very big key attack. Wiss said, Father, are you really going to kill your own son? Asked the angel to his father who didn't even pay attention to his son's words. Daishinkin replies, He's not my son, said the high priest throwing the key attack on Khan who couldn't escape the attack and was hit full on. Because of the big explosion it ended up generating a lot of smoke. Daishinkin seeing that was sure that Khan was dead, but that's not what happened. When the smoke disappeared, it was possible to see another angel in the place. In fact, it was two very similar angels with Khan, who was finally being held by his sister. Khan's mysterious sister spoke. My dear brother Khan, I just told you that you weren't ready to fight our father yet, but still you were amazing. Khan's sister spoke with a smile before Khan fainted from exhaustion from the fight against your father. Mysterious sister said, Well, I'm sorry, but now I'll have to leave. But wait for us, dad because we're going to leave for today, but we're going to come back and we're going to defeat him, so bye-bye, said the angel woman creating a portal and disappearing. Daishinkin thought, apparently I will have to fight them again in the future, thought the angel before flying to Zeno-sama to see if everything was okay. In a distant location, Khan was with and the mysterious Anja, and it was possible to see the mysterious Anja carrying Khan who had his arm over his shoulders. Then it was possible to see the Anja entering a type of temple that was inside a giant tree and then both enter the temple and the Anja takes his brother into a room and leaves him lying on the bed and sits in a chair next to the bed. So that's the mysterious Anja looked while waiting for her younger brother to wake up and a few hours Khan was finally waking up and soon he sat on his bed while facing his older sister. Khan said, Thank you so much for saving me my dear sister Monica said the angel while looking at his sister who gave him a smile. The mysterious angel called Monica saying, My dear little brother Khan, I know you want revenge on our father just like our mother and our brothers did, but even though you are the one who has the best physical condition among us angels, you still are the weakest. Anja Monica said looking at her brother who was now awake even though he was very injured. Khan replies, Yeah, I know I'm the weakest among the ancient angels. But all angels are too weak for having spent a lot of their powers to completely break that damn seal, said Angel Khan seriously to his sister who was very angry as he remembers the time he and his brothers were sealed away in the 13th universe for hundreds of years. Monica says, I know, I understand that you want revenge and revenge on our brothers, but even so you are not ready to face our father yet. But there is a way that you can defeat our father. Monica said making Khan look to her surprised and confused by what she said. Khan asked, What do you mean my sister? said the angel getting up and facing his sister. Monica says, Well maybe you know about the ritual that turns a Saiyan into a god and it takes six Saiyans with pure hearts. Five of them will pass their energy to another Saiyan who will become a god. This transformation being called a Super Saiyan God told Monica to her brother who was paying too much attention to her older sister. Khan said, Yes, I already know that. And if I remember correctly, Yamoshi was the first Saiyan to become a god. But what does that have to do with us angels? Khan asked his older sister. Monica then responds, Simple, my dear little brother. We the angels can do something similar. Being that we can donate our powers to another angel temporarily, and with that power, you can face our father and maybe kill him. Angel Monica spoke with a smile on her face. And upon hearing this information, Khan was very surprised and happy to know that there is a chance to defeat his Daishin Khan father. Khan said, Is that what we are waiting for? To start the ritual? Asked the euphoric angel while looking at his sister. Monica said, Now is not the time. You have to recover, and the brothers who will be part of the ritual are getting ready. So until then, recover, and then we will have our revenge against our dear father. Anja said, Monica while having some laughs. Ha <laughs> ha. Currently in Universe 7, 
In Universe 7, it was possible to see everyone inside the Capsule Corporation looking intently at the Dai Shinkan who had his eyes closed and was showing nothing but the purest calm until Whis decided to speak. Whis said, Dad, what Khan said is true. You sealed my mother with my other brothers. Whis asked his father, who now opens his eyes and looked at his son. Dai Shinkan replies, If you're referring to Khan and the other corrupted angels, yes, that's true. I sealed them away so they wouldn't destroy the other universes with their wrong actions, said the high priest as he looked at his son, who was now getting very nervous because of it. Whis said, Is it my mother you sealed her because she defended one of my brothers? Whis asked very nervously to his father. Dai Shinkan replied, Yes, but that's not the only reason I sealed it hundreds of years ago. Speaks the high priest to Whis, raised up in his father's anger. Whis said, So tell me what was the reason that you led to seal my mother? Asked the angel to his father, the high priest. Dai Shinkan said, That same day, she and I argued about Khan killing the god of destruction. I told his mother that he deserved some sort of punishment, and she didn't agree, so we argued a lot about it. So by the time I said I would erase him to serve as an example for the other angels, she to stop that tried to kill Zenosama. So I had no choice but to erase her mother and then erase all the other angels, said the high priest, causing everyone in the place to be shocked by the information. The guard one said, I get angry at myself every time I remember it, said one of Zenosama's guards, remembering the terrible day. Guard one spoke, We were very weak compared to her mother, Wiss's power. We couldn't even hurt her and were defeated very easily. Zenosama's second guard spoke. Whis said, So my mother almost killed Zenosama, and that's why she was sealed, and as my brothers were on her side, they were also erased along with her, said the angel while looking at his father, who was now taking some tea. Goku said, So now these angels want revenge against the high priest, said the Saiyan to everyone in the room. Vegeta said, Actually, maybe they don't just want to kill the high priest, they also want to kill Zenosama, said the prince of Saiyans. Beerus said, So that means that Khan Gai, along with the other angels, are going to come to kill the Dai Shinkan to get revenge on him. But Angel Khan said he just wanted revenge on the High Priest. So the Earth and Universe 7 are safe for a while, said the Saiyan Prince to everyone in the palace, until Beerus spoke. Beerus said, He said that he wouldn't destroy anything or anyone but the High Priest, but the other angels shouldn't have the same thought as him since they were almost killed and then sealed, so I think you better worry and become to get stronger. Or if not, we will all die. Universe Seventh, God of Destruction spoke, making all Earthlings worried about the fate of the Earth. Already in the temple where Khan was, it had been a while and Khan was now 100% recovered and ready to perform the ritual that will give the power to destroy his father. Khan said, Monica, I'm ready to do the ritual, and our brothers, are they ready? Asked the angel Khan to his sister. Monica said, yes, they are all ready. In fact, they are waiting for you to start the ritual to make you have a power that will surpass that of our father, said Anja, making Khan smile at her. Khan said, so let's go, said the angel Khan to his sister. And then Monica goes back to the temple, where the two enter a room that had some angels forming a circle. And in the middle was a woman with long white hair who looked at the two. Monica said, My mother, I bought my younger brother. He is ready for our ritual, said Monica, kneeling down. The mother of angels said, Great, now my youngest son Khan enters the circle and receives the power to defeat your father and bring pride to all your brothers and me. She said it to all the angels while looking at her son Khan, who soon entered the circle, and soon they all started reciting some strange words. And soon Khan's power started to increase, and the power of the other angels started to decrease more and more. Khan said, Finally, this is the power I need to defeat our father. I will show him that I am not weak, and make him regret having sealed us away for hundreds of years. And most of all, I will make him regret what he did with that lady, my mother. The boy, seeing his great power increase, turned to his mother and kneeled. Mother of all the angels said, Yes, that's right, my son Khan. Kill your father and whoever stands in your way and avenge us. And if your other brothers try to stop, like Wiss, don't kill them, but leave them wounded enough to let him not interrupt the battle. 
the mother of all the angels spoke to her son Khan, who was still on her knees. The mother of all angels said, Now get up and go to Universe 7 and defeat your father, ordered the mother of all angels, and soon Khan stood up. Khan said, Yes, ma'am. The angel Khan spoke before leaving the place, together with Monica. Monica said, Now, my brother, you have the power to make our father pay for everything he put us through during these several years, so defeat him. Anja Monica said, opening a portal in front of Khan. I'll be waiting for us to celebrate your victory. Khan said, Don't worry. I will defeat our father. Not only for me, but for all of us. Khan said while looking back at all the angels that were there, and then he crossed the portal going to the Seven Universe to face his father, the Dai Shin Khan, currently in Universe 7. Whis said, Khan, alone is already a big problem for all universes. Now imagine several angels at once. It will be very difficult for us to beat them. Whis said while thinking about what they could do to defeat the other angels. Beerus said, well, from what Khan said, the angels are still too weak for us to face after. They will use all their powers to break the seal. So if there was a war on the gods of destruction, we could face these angels and defeat them. But Khan is the only one who can defeat me and also defeat the high priest. The god of destruction spoke while looking at Dai Shinkan, who was beside Zeno. Goku said, Could it be that Vegeta and I start training we could be on the same level and these angels to help defeat them? Saiyan spoke to Whis, and Whis said, Maybe yes, maybe not. I don't know how strong they are. And even though they're weak, they're still angels who spend millions of years training to be able to defeat my father. So they won't be easily defeated, said the angel for Son Goku. Vegeta said, Well, if something bad happens and Kakarato and I can't face the angels, we'd have to merge using Potara earrings, said the Saiyan making Goku be surprised. And Goku replied, I thought you hated the idea of merging with me, Vegeta. Vegeta said, yeah, I really don't like it, but if I have to do that to defeat these angels and prevent this planet from being destroyed, so be it, said the Prince of Saiyans, making most of the people who were there very surprised. Whis said, well, that's a revelation. I never thought that Lord Vegeta would fight to protect the Earth, said the angel with one of his hands in his mouth to keep from laughing so loud. Balma said, that's a big surprise, says Vegeta's wife who was sitting next to her husband. Vegeta said, don't get me wrong, I don't care who will live or die on this planet, but as Bulma and my children live on it, I have to protect it at all costs, said the Saiyan prince as he blushed a little. Goku said, are you sure this is the Vegeta I know who always keeps his Saiyan pride ahead of everyone and everything, asked Goku as he looked at Bulma. Bulma said, Maybe it's a clone of Vegeta that can't be true, ha <laughs> ha, said Bulma, playing with her husband a little while letting out a few laughs. Vegeta thought, that's why I always keep my mouth shut about this kind of thing. The Saiyan Prince thought as he saw some people laughing in his face. Whis said, well, this is all being fun, but Khan is still around and we have to defeat him before he gets stronger, said the angel who before had a smile on his face and is now very serious. Beerus said, so why don't we go to the 13th universe, since they were sealed there, so it must be their base of operations. The God of Destruction spoke to everyone in the place, until the Dai Shinkan spoke. The Dai Shinkan said, This will be useless. I'm already trying to do this, but it seems that somehow they are preventing me from seeing what is happening there, so I believe they have created a barrier. Goku said, So we can't go to them. They saw us, right? said the Saiyan who started to feel a lot of energy approaching. The Dai Shinkan spoke. Apparently they've arrived. The High Priest spoke as he walked towards the door, and when he opened the door he could see Khan with his new transformation, standing in the air watching his father. Khan said, Finally, he answered me. See, I still have good manners, but I was already thinking that I would have to destroy everything for you to appear, father. Angel Khan spoke arrogantly to Dai Shin Khan, who before he had a calm face, was now serious, very serious. Khan asked, Dad, what do you think of my new form? I think you will like her as this is the power of all your children, that she reject and sealed in Universe 13, speaks Khan with anger of his father who was floating in the air in front of Dai Shin Khan. Dai Shin Khan said, How did you achieve this transformation? If I remember correctly, she is a secret and a forbidden transformation. 
asked the serious priest to his son Khan, who just had a few laughs. Khan said, Monica discovered this transformation. Just as Saiyans do a ritual to become gods, we angels do the same thing. And by your expression, you already knew that. But whatever, this will be your end, Khan said, who was already preparing to fight the high priest. Zeno One said, Wow, what a cool transformation! I thought it was amazing. What did you think? Zeno asked while looking at Khan's new form. And Zeno Two said, I don't know, but from what I understand, he used a ritual similar to Saiyans to become more powerful, said Zeno while looking at Goku, who was already understood and remembered the day he became a god for the first time using rituals with your friends. Goku said, Well, when I became a god for the first time, I had to do a ritual and I ended up turning into Saiyan Sayadin God. Goku said to Zeno-sama, who now understood Khan's transformation a little better. Khan said, Since they are so interested in this new form of mine, I can tell you how I got it. When several angels unite, they can do a ritual similar to that of the Saiyans. Only I absorb the powers of my brothers, and I have now achieved a new level of strength. A strength that surpasses that of my father, and I will defeat you once and for all, and avenge my brothers and mother. Khan said, starting to release his energy. The moment Khan releases his power, it ends up causing a change so great that it made the water around it evaporate and the earth cracked and thunder began to fall. And with such intensity, the great holes appeared. The earth itself trembled with the power that was released by Khan, not the universe itself, and trembled before that power. It was so intense that all the other universes felt it. In the 13th universe, Monica said, So this is my brother Khan's power. It really is a gigantic power. Anja was saying next to her mother, who was very happy. The mother of angels thought, Khan, my son, you will be the one who will defeat Dai Shinkan, and he will finally be able to rule all the universes and create our rules. And of course, after I will kill Zeno once and for all, thought the mother of all angels. In the seventh universe, after releasing so much power, Khan teleports in front of his father and hits him with a punch, causing him to be brutally thrown to the ground, causing a crater along with an earthquake in its place. Daishinkan seeing the new level of power of his son Khan, he begins to release his divine powers for the first time and advances towards Khan, who also goes towards his father. Soon both angels end up colliding their fists, causing the whole place to be destroyed. Each punch they exchanged destroyed part of the land that hasn't been completely destroyed yet, because Zeno's bodyguards along with Whis were keeping the island stable. Daishinkan and Khan were so fast that they easily surpassed the speed of light. The fight was so intense that planets light years from Earth were being destroyed because of the energy of the two angels. Goku and his friends seeing this became worried, as in a few seconds of fights, more than a hundred planets were destroyed in the seventh universe. But in total, about 769 planets were destroyed in all 12 universes. Vegeta said, If this fight continues, all universes will be destroyed, said the Prince of Saiyans with fear. And Goku said, Zeno-sama, why don't you stop this fight? If it continues, all universes will be destroyed, spoke Goku trying to convince Zeno to stop the combat between the two angels. Zeno too said, Why would we stop this fight? She's so much fun. She's so nice. Zeno said excitedly. Goku said, But if you don't stop the fight, everything will be destroyed, said Goku trying to convince until Zeno-sama had an idea. Zeno-1 said, You want to stop them from fighting, don't you? Asked Zeno to Goku. And Goku replied, Yes, I want to. And Zeno gave him a smile. Zeno-1 said, So how about you borrow my power so you can fight Angel Khan? said Zeno-sama, causing everyone to be in shock. By now, everyone was very surprised and shocked that Zeno had made such an offer to Goku to lend his power since Zeno-sama is the most powerful being in all 13 universes together. Until Goku finally started talking to Zeno. Goku said, wait, what do you mean, Zeno? Are you going to lend me your power? Asked the confused Saiyan to Zeno. Zeno-1 said, it's like I said, I can give you my powers temporarily. Zeno spoke with a smile on his face. Goku said, But why would you want to do that? said the Saiyan to Zeno. Zeno too said, Simple! If you have our powers, you'll be able to face this angel and all the others, and then you'll have a really cool fight, and we'll be able to have fun watching you fight them. 
said Zeno, explaining to Goku that everyone will win because Zeno just wants to have fun. Whis said, But Zeno-sama, giving such great power to Goku will be the same as killing him. His body won't handle that much power. Alerted Universe 7's angel to Zeno. Guard 1 said, If that's the problem, we can solve it, said one of Zeno-sama's guards. Vegeta said, How could you guys do that? asked the Prince of Saiyadins to Zeno-sama's guards. Guard 2 said, We can make Saiyan Son Goku's body strong enough to withstand Zeno-sama's power inside his body, but it won't last long. It can last a maximum of 10 or 20 minutes. If it goes beyond that, your body will self-destruct, and so Goku will die, said Zeno-sama's second guard to the Saiyan. Goku said, Okay, I upset your power, Zeno-sama. Zeno-1 said, Okay, so now let's see the Daishikan vs. Khan High Priest fight. Zeno spoke, turning his attention to the High Priest vs. Khan fight. Zeno-2 said, It looks like now the fight is going to get serious. Zeno spoke as he felt the Daishinkan power increasing even more. The fight between the Daishinkan and Khan was very fierce. So much so that the Daishinkan decided to stop messing around with his son and fight for real or else he might actually be defeated by Khan. Daishinkan said nervously, Enough of this little joke, Khan. If you really came to kill me, then I will fight to kill you too, said the High Priest, raising his power even more, thus causing planets scattered throughout the twelfth universes that were destroyed, not one or two, but rather hundreds of planets and countless lives. Khan said, It looks like you're going to really fight seriously. Father, I was holding back for some time since if I increased my powers too, it would destroy planets and innocent lives. But I saw that you don't care about that, do you? Since that's how I'll have to do the same thing, and then I'll bring all the innocent lives back, said the Angel Khan who soon increased his power, causing even the god of destruction of all the universes and the angels feel the air get heavy from just the feeling of power from both angels. In all the twelfth universes, gods of destruction thought, so this is the true power of the great priest. It's really amazing and very scary. Now I understand why he and whoever takes care of Zeno-sama thought all the Haishinkan at the same time while feeling fear and respect for the Daishinkan. All the angels thought, Dad, are you really going to fight for real? All the angels wondered at the same time as they felt the Daishinkan's power. In Universe 13, the angels of the 13th universe thought, This is the power of our brother Khan, and really very great. So avenge us, brother, and show our father that he is not superior to us and much less our mother, thought all the angels of the universe 13th universe as they felt Khan's power. Mother of all angels thought, Khan, my son, your father will fight in earnest, and even then you will have the power to face him. It seems I was wrong when I thought you were weak and useless. You will be the one who will make me reach the top of all the universes, thought the mother of all angels. Mother of all angels said, with this power of yours, Khan, I can have what I always wanted since the day I was sealed. To rule all universes, said the mother of all angels as she looked to the sky and felt the power of Daishinkan and Khan who were facing each other. In the seventh universe, returning to the fight between the two angels, both Daishinkan and Khan were now at their maximum powers. So they both suddenly rushed at each other, and the moment the two clashed their fists ended up breaking reality itself causing them to be thrown into a rift that was created by the force exerted by the two angels' fists. Khan said, I always had a doubt, father. Do you bleed? Well, it's gonna bleed today, said the angel with a wide smile. Daishinkan spoke. Let's see if you can do that, Khan, speaks the high priest, then advancing towards his son. In the dimensional rift, the two angels exchanged blows with great ferocity. The fight was very balanced until Khan manages to dodge the Daishinkan's attack, and Khan took advantage of that to make a sequence of attacks, and he kneeled on the Daishinkan's abdomen, and then a right crusado, and to finish, he kicked him in the face, throwing him away. The moment all the dust and smoke left the place where the Daishinkan was, he left the place, but he was very different on his lips. There was a kind of purple liquid that was coming, and it was the Daishinkan's blood coming out of his lips. In Universe 7 with Goku and the rest of the group, Whis said, My dad is bleeding, thought the angel very shocked that such a fact had happened. Zeno one spoke, The great priest is bleeding, wow, said Zeno with stars in his eyes that shone with such joy. Zeno too said, This Khan is really very powerful, that's cool, this is a real combat. Zeno said, 
two very excited angels because they were fighting with each other. With Daishinkan and Khan, Khan said, Is that all you have to offer me, father? Arrogantly asking the angel to the Daishinkan who got angry and teleported on top of his son trying to kick him. But Khan, using only one of his arms, defended the attack. He said, You are getting slower than before, father. Now it's my turn. He said the same, taking his father's foot and throwing him away. Right after Daishinkan was playing against the ground again, he didn't even have the time to think as Khan appeared in front of him and started attacking him without giving Daishinkan time to defend himself or think of a plan or strategy. Khan, using all his ferocity, punched and kicked Daishinkan, making him fly in all directions. Not stopping with just that, Khan started rubbing Daishinkan's face on the ground as he ran and soon throwing him up and throwing several key attacks on the Daishinkan, making him scream because of all the attacks. After the smoke disappeared, it was possible to see something that no one ever thought to see. Daishinkan came out of the smoke with much of his clothing destroyed and several wounds all over his body, which was full of his own blood. But even though he was very injured, he advanced towards Khan and punched him. But Khan didn't even move. Khan spoke. So that's all your power, father? This is really disappointing, said Khan, grabbing his father's neck and creating a blade of key in the other hand. Khan said, Goodbye, father, said the boy crossing the Daishinkan's chest, killing him at that moment. In all 13 universes, angels and Haikaishin thought at the same time, Daishinkan's death, and that cannot be possible. This made all the angels cry for having lost their father, while the other angels of Universe 13 were cheering for finally Daishinkan being dead. Monica said, Looks like Khan finally fulfilled her wish, Mom, said Monica, turning around and looking at her mother. The mother of angels said, Yeah, but it's a shame I'd like to see his face on his deathbed. Mother of angels spoke with a very wide smile on her face. Goku said, It can't be. The great priest has really defeated and killed by Khan said the incredulous Saiyan. Whis said, Father. That was the only thing Whis managed to say as he felt his father's key disappearing. It really meant the Daishinkan's death. Beerus said, So Khan really got what he wanted. He really managed to kill the Grand Priest. So that means now there's no one who can defeat him besides Zenosama. The Universe Seventh God of Destruction has spoken. Soon a rift ends up opening in the middle of the sky and Khan came out with the Daishinkan's body. Then Khan throws the body of the great priest at Wiss's feet, who, seeing his father's body with a hole in his chest, can't stand it, and ends up crying seeing his father end up close. Khan said, Don't cry, my brother. With the death of our father, now we the angels no longer need to put up with the tyranny of our father, and much less that of the gods of destruction. We no longer need to be afraid to fight in fear of being erased, with Daishinkan's death ushers in a new era, an era where we angels can do whatever we want, said the angel as he opened his arms and looked up into the sky. Khan said, I want all 13 universes to dare what I will say now, said Khan creating a type of megaphone that would be heard by all 13 universes at the same time. Khan spoke, My dear brothers and sisters, our father is now dead, and with that, none of you need to be afraid of not carrying out his orders. Now you are completely free, and you will never have to be servants of your gods of destruction anymore. This is the new era, my brothers, and in this era, the angels will dominate everything. Khan spoke to all the angels of all the universes. Whereas in the 13th universe, Angel 1 said that, My brother, we are finally free from the tyranny of our father, said one of the angels who were celebrating the death of Daishinkan. Angel 2 said, Finally, now we can do what we want without being afraid of what will happen, without fear of being erased, for not following our father's orders said another of the angels who were celebrating. Monica said, This is really, really good. Finally feeling free to do what we want. That's what we wanted, isn't it? Sonia, my dear mother, said Anja, while looking at her mother who had a big smile on her face. Sonia said, Yes, that is what I wanted. I'm very happy now all my children are free from the tyranny of the Daishinkan. But now it's time for my second phase of the plan. Mother of Angels said while looking at Monica. Monica said, Yes, my mother. I will now warn the other angels that now we will invade all the other twelve universes and recruit all the angels, and those who do not join us will meet with our father. Monica said to her mother, and then left the place heading to a room where there were several angels preparing for a fight. 
the mysterious angel spoke. Monica, my dear sister, apparently Khan really managed to kill our father, and if you are hearing it, it means that now the second phase of the plan will be carried out, doesn't it? An angel spoke taller than Monica, with an appearance identical to that of his sister, the only difference being the bulk of his muscles and some scars all over his body. Monica said, That's right, Icarus. The second part of the plan will be started, so you and the other angels must prepare. Monica said while looking at her brother Icarus, who smiled and then he turned to the other angels in the place. Icarus spoke, My dear brothers and sisters, get ready, because the second part of the plan will start. We will dominate all 13 universes and show the true power of us, the angels, and those who will get in our way will be destroyed, said the angel as he got up with his staff to the self-making all the other angels roar like a war roar. Far away in the seventh universe, Whis said, Damn, Khan! Ah! He screamed before rushing towards Khan trying to punch him, but Khan easily grabbed his fist like it was nothing. Khan said, Whis, my dear brother, I don't wish to have to fight you, unless killing you. So just enjoy your freedom and enjoy your life, and that's all I want for you. But now I want you to go sleep, Khan said to Whis, before placing two fingers on Whis's forehead and making him pass out. And then Khan landed on the ground and placed Whis passed out on the ground in a gentle way. Khan said, Now that I have finished my quest, I have nothing else to do in this universe. So if you allow me, I will leave right now as I have to go to a party celebrating the death of the High Priest. Khan said before going back to the skies and creating a dimensional rift and then going through. Bulma said, Whis! Screamed and ran towards the angel who was passed out because of Khan's blow. Beerus said, Damn, now without the Daishinkan, not only the seventh universe but all twelve universes are out of balance. And not only that, we will probably have to face the other angels apart from the mother of angels who must be as strong as the Daishinkan. What the hell? Said the god of destruction, worried about having to face other angels that must be much more powerful than those of the twelve angels spread across the universes. Zeno one said, So the great priest was really killed by Khan? Asked Zeno while looking at Daishinkan's dead body. Zeno two said, It seems so. And Khan also managed to knock out that other angel with just two fingers. That was pretty amazing. Zeno spoke excitedly because of the combat between the two angels, and that was something that made Bulma furious. Bulma said, An amazing fight? And that's all you can think of? You even having the power to end this fight and save the Daishinkan, and you prefer to let it happen, and let the Daishinkan be killed by Khan, and now the other angels must be getting ready to destroy the other 12 universes. Bulma said furious with Zeno, something which made Beerus widen his eyes to sim with Goku and Vegeta. Vegeta said, Bulma, be quiet. He can erase us if he gets angry, said Vegeta a little desperate to see his wife talk like that to Zeno. Bulma said, Is it any good for him to erase us? If he erases us, we die. And if the angels come, we'll die the same way. So what's the difference? Says Vegeta's wife, still furious that Zeno did nothing to stop the fight between the Daishinkan and Khan. Zeno one said, I don't know why you're so desperate. Because of the death of the Grand Priest. He died. So that's it. I didn't do anything to stop the fight between the Daishinkan and Khan because I wanted to see an interesting fight. And that's what I did see. And that's why we're both happy. Zeno spoke coldly to everyone in the place. Zeno too said, And even if the other angels come to destroy the other universes and easy to solve, and only Goku receives our power and faces them, said Zeno while pointing his fingers at Goku. Zeno one said, So Goku, what is your decision? Will you want our power to face the angels or not? Zeno asked while looking at Goku that he had his eyes closed thinking until he opened his eyes and spoke. Goku said, yes, I accept to receive your Zeno-sama powers in order to defeat the other angels and protect not only Universe 7, but all 12 universes. Said the Saiyan with determination to Zeno-sama who just smiled. Zeno too said, Iba, if you have our power, you can face the angels, and we can see other fun fights. Spoke Zenosama excited about the future fights he will be able to see. In the seventh universe. Currently in universe seven, it was possible to see all the warriors looking at Khan, who was still flying above them all, 
and Khan was so focused to tell the news that his father had been killed by him that Khan didn't pay attention and didn't hear that Goku would borrow Zeno's powers to defeat him and the other angels. Khan said, Well, now that my father, known as Daishinkan, has died, there is no one who can stop us angels from doing anything. We angels are free, but it seems you are not happy, my dear brother. Whis, because you are not happy as well, me and your other brothers, asked Khan while looking at Whis, who was seriously looking at his brother. Whis said, It seems that I would be happy with the death of my father, said the angel in an angry tone. Khan said, I thought I would be happy to finally see father from my father's orders, but it seems that you are a very obedient son to him, just as he is obedient to that being, said Khan, pointing his finger at where Zenosama was. Khan said, A real waste of power, the power so great that it is capable of destroying everything and everyone in the hands of a mere child like you. Well, two mere children in the end, you brought another Zenosama from an alternate future, said the angel, leaving many on the spot surprised that Khan knows one of the Zenos was from another timeline. Khan said, Just like me, you are also an angel, Wiss. We are brothers, so I don't want to have to kill you, Wiss. So please, accept my invitation and stay by my side. After all, we are brothers and brothers must stay together as a family. Or don't you want to stay by your mother's side? Angel Khan asked Wiss, who was already wondering if he should go to Khan's side and see his mother again. Wiss said, Even though I know you are right in some manners, I will not stand by your side, Khan, and you are not my brother, said the angel seriously to his brother, who just sighed and continued to try to bring Wiss to his side. While Khan was still trying to get Wiss to side with him, a portal appeared right in front of him, and out of that portal came Monica. Monica said, Looks like he won't even accept your invitation, my brother Khan. But don't worry, the other angels will probably accept it, said Monica as she left the portal and looked at her brother Khan. Khan said, What are you doing here, Monica? Khan asked his sister who just gave a small smile. Monica said, I thought it was obvious. I came here to take you back to the 13th universe so we can celebrate your victory over our father and celebrate our long-awaited freedom. So we can go, my brother. Everyone is already waiting for you to start the party, said the angel to her brother, who just sighed. Khan said, Okay, I think partying a little would be nice. It seems like now I'll have to leave because I have an appointment, and so I won't be able to stay longer. So during this time of mine, that I'll be out, I hope you think better about it. My invitation, brother. But until then, I say goodbye to all of you. Goodbye said Khan while he and his next to his sister Monica looking at Wiss who was very angry and soon the angel duo disappeared in a pillar of golden energy. Now in the 13th universe. Currently in the 13th universe it was possible to see several of the angels celebrating Khan's victory against Daishinkan and soon a pillar of golden energy descends from the heavens and from this pillar Khan and Monica come out. All the angels seeing Khan quickly go to him and call him to party and quickly Khan accepts and goes to party with his brothers. While Monica left the place and went to one of the temple's corridors to meet her other brother Icarus, who was already waiting for her. Monica said, What do you want, my dear brother Icarus? Monica asked her older brother. Icarus said, No big deal. I'm just here waiting for our mother's orders for the second phase of our revenge to work. And by the way, will it take a long time? Because I'm already getting a little impatient, said Icarus to his sister. Monica said, no need to worry, my brother. Enjoy the party a little, and then you can start the second part of our plan, said the girl to her brother who got a little annoyed. Icarus said, it seems, unlike Khan or the other angels, I can't keep partying with all this joy. I'm a war machine, and my goal is to destroy and conquer, said Icarus, a little annoyed with all of that. Sonia said, Since you feel that way, my son, then we can start the second part of the plan now, said the angel arriving at the place, making her two children look at her scared. Monica said, Mom, but are we already starting the second part of the plan? said the girl as she looked at her mother. Icarus said, Finally, let's start the second part of the plan. I'll prepare our army immediately, my mother, said the angel soon, almost leaving the place. But her mother stopped him. Sonia said, 
I haven't finished talking yet. Even though I want to start the second part of our plan now, Khan is still here. And you both know that he is very sentimental about taking other beings' lives. For him, the Daishinkan was the only one that should be killed. So if we start the second part of the plan now, he will want to stop us. And even though I'm strong, I don't have enough strength to defeat him yet. But I'm trying to change Khan's mind, or just eliminate him. Told the mother about the angels to her two children, who were a little shocked by the cold way she spoke. Monica said, So if you have to kill Khan, if he gets in the way of the second part of the plan, would you have the courage to kill him, mother? Asked the angel to her mother. Sonia said, If that is necessary, then yes. I will kill Khan myself even though he is my son. I will have to kill him for the greater good. Said the mother of the angels to her daughter, who just sighed at the words of her mother. Icarus said, So while you take care of Khan, I'm going to train and train my troops because I know there are some very powerful mortals in some universes. So if you'll excuse me, I have to get stronger said the angel leaving from the venue, leaving only Sonia and Monica who soon went to the party to have some fun. In the seventh universe. Currently in universe seven, it was possible to see all the Z warriors together with Wiss and Beerus in addition to Zeno and his guards. And Wiss was kind of distant from the others as his head was very messed up. And the others were talking about Goku gaining the powers of Zeno-sama. Goku said, how exactly am I going to gain your Zeno-sama powers? asked the Saiyan to Zeno. Zeno's guard one said, Firstly, you will gain Zeno-sama's power temporarily. After a while, the power you took from Zeno-sama will disappear and return to Zeno-sama, said one of the Zeno's bodyguards. Zeno-sama's bodyguard too said, Second, your body is too weak to withstand Zeno-sama's powers within your body, and for that reason, you will have to undergo rigorous training so your body doesn't explode and training your body will stay stronger to withstand Zeno-sama's power for a limited time," said Zeno's other bodyguard to Goku. Goku said, So let's start this training immediately, so I can get stronger, so I can face Khan and the other angels. In addition to being able to withstand the power of Zeno-sama inside me during this limited time, the Saiyan said while looking at the bodyguards from Zeno. Vegeta said, I'm going to train too. I don't want to be left behind. Even though I'm not the one who will gain Zeno-sama's powers, I also want to be trained because Kakarata will face Khan and the rest of Universe 7 will be under attack of the other angels. So I want to be strong enough to be able to face the other angels and that way the planet Earth won't be destroyed," said the Saiyan Prince to Zeno's bodyguards. And soon everyone in the place was impressed and shocked by everything that Vegeta said. Zeno's bodyguard once said, Well, if that's what you want, you can train. You can be as strong as a god of destruction. And maybe you'll overcome the Hakaishin, said one of Zeno's bodyguards. Zeno's bodyguard too said, So get ready, because your training will be very intense. So intense that you will prefer to die, said Zeno's bodyguard, making the two Saiyans become extremely scared. Zeno one said, so now with two people so strong that will face these angels, there will be several really cool battles, and this will be a lot of fun," said Zeno while looking at Goku and Vegeta. Zeno too said, All this will be really fun, so I would like to see not only the warriors of the universe, but if all the universes get stronger to be able to face the angels, woo, we will have several cool fights," said Zeno to everyone. And soon the Zeno's guards transmitted Zeno-sama's message to all angels and gods of all universes. In Universe 7 Currently in the 7th universe, it was possible to see Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, Whis, Bulma, Zeno-sama, and their two bodyguards, and they were all gathered in the Capsule Corporation discussing something. Bulma said, I have a doubt. Even with all the training, Goku will be able to use Zeno-sama's power? asked the woman as she looked at the two bodyguards of Zeno, who soon replied. Zeno's bodyguard number one said, No, he won't make it. It doesn't matter which Saiyan is the same as the Saiyan trained for the extreme for billions of years. They wouldn't be able to withstand Zeno-sama's power. One of the Zeno-sama's bodyguards spoke up and answered, ended up making everyone astonished and worried. Bulma said, so if Goku's body won't be strong enough to withstand Zeno-sama's power, how is he going to use his power without dying? Don't tell me that for him to use Zeno-sama's power, he will have to die in the process. The woman spoke while looking at Zeno's bodyguards. Zeno's bodyguard number two said, no need to worry, human. 
We will do a special training with Son Goku so that when he receives Zenosama's power, he will transcend and so Goku will become an absolute being just like Zenosama. Of course, this transcendence using Zenosama's powers won't last for long. After the power leaves Goku's body, he will return to normal. Zenosama's second bodyguard explained while looking at Bulma, who breathed a sigh of relief upon learning that his childhood friend will not die after receiving Zeno's powers. Goku said, Will I become a transcendent being? But what is that? The Saiyan asked Zeno's bodyguards. But the one who answered this time was Beerus, who was silent until now. Beerus said, A transcendent being is a being that has surpassed all creation by becoming its own. In short, it is a being that is absolute or comes close to it. The God of Destruction spoke in a calm tone, but inside he was scared to death of the strength that Goku would possess when receiving Zeno's power. And that wasn't just Beerus was feeling, but everyone in the place was imagining giving themselves so much power for Goku would be a good choice. Goku said, I didn't understand anything to be honest. The only thing I understood is that with this power, I will be very strong. And maybe I will become the strongest being in the fifth universe, being even stronger than Mr. Beerus and Whis, said Goku excitedly as he looked at everyone in the place who had a bead of sweat on their foreheads. Everyone thought at the same time, does he really think he will be stronger than the God of Destruction and the Angel Whis? Of course he will be stronger than the two of them and surely he must be stronger than all the Gods of Destruction and all the Angels of all the universes, thought everyone present at that place while looking at Goku who had a smile on his face. Goku said, I have another question. When I become a transcendent being, will I still look the same and still be a Saiyan? Asked Goku while looking at Zenosama's bodyguards. But the one who answered this time was Whis, who finally decided to speak after a long silence. Whis said, No, you won't look like your normal self. You won't even be a Saiyan, said the angel while looking at the Saiyan. Goku said, So what will I be exactly? Said the Saiyan while looking at Whis. Whis said, there's no correct term for classifying transcendent beings. For that reason, those who have surpassed the limits of existence are called Re or transcendent, and that is what you will turn into. And about your appearance, I'm sure you will not be the same as you have now, said the angel while looking at Goku who had one of his hands on his chin, showing that he was thinking. Zeno One said, Goku will become a transcendent being just like the two of us, right? Told Zeno from the past to his other self from the future. Zeno too said, Will Goku look like us when using our real forms? Zeno spoke from the future, curious to find out what Goku would look like when he became a transcendental being. Bulma said, True form? So this childlike appearance he has is not the true form of the strongest being in all universes? Said Bulma, confused, and intrigued to find out that Zeno's childlike appearance is not his true appearance. Zeno-sama's bodyguard number one said, No! That's not Zeno-sama's true appearance. In fact, if any of you looked at his true form, you would immediately be dead. Because just being in the same system as him, you would die because of the energy coming out of Zeno-sama's body. One of Zeno's bodyguards said something that made everyone stunned by such a statement. Wiz thought, it's no wonder he's the strongest being in all the universes. I wonder where my mother got the idea to face Zenosama because I know she's not stupid enough to face Zenosama without having any plans to defeat him, thought the angel as he looked at past Zeno and future Zeno, who were smiling and laughing while playing with each other. But there was something that didn't go unnoticed by Zenosama's bodyguards who looked menacingly at Wiss, something that no one noticed, not even Wiss himself. Zeno 2's bodyguard thought, this angel known as Wiss is not looking at Zenosama in a way of admiration, but with a look of irritation and even a little bit of anger. Maybe what that other angel said to the Wiss has affected him, but I don't care if he will side with us or the evil angels, but the moment he thinks of attacking Zenosama, I will kill him with my bare hands, one of Zenosama's bodyguards thought as he kept his eyes on Wiss. Vegeta said, So, when is Goku's training going to start? The faster we go, the faster we can increase our strength, said the Prince of Saiyans while looking at Zeno's bodyguards and then immediately looked at Zeno. Zeno's bodyguard one said, right now, then say goodbye soon so we can leave soon and especially you Son Goku because your training will take a long time. 
alerted Zeno's bodyguards to the two Saiyans, who soon began to say goodbye to their friends in the 13th universe. Currently in the 13th universe, it was possible to see all the angels still having fun and celebrating Khan's victory over Daishinkan. But among the angels was Icarus, the leader of the battalion that would carry out the second phase of the plan. And he was with Monica, and both were heading towards his mother's quarters. Because she had called them, and soon they both arrive at the place. Monica said, Mom, did you call us? Sonia said, Yes, my daughter, I called you two here to start the second phase of our plan said the woman leaving the two children, surprised, but Icarus was excited to know that finally the second phase of his plan would be started. Icarus spoke, Finally the second phase of our plan will start. Speaking the angel excited about the beginning of the second phase of the evil angel's plan. Monica said, But mom, how is Khan in the story? The lady herself had said that we couldn't start the second part of the plan because of Khan spoke to Anja wanting to know why her mother changed her mind so fast. Sonia said, That's why I called you my daughter. Your objective is to attract your brother, and with your power, you are able to prevent him from feeling the destruction of other universes. And in the meantime, Icarus and the rest of his army will go to all universes and will destroy those who didn't kneel before us. And after we have all twelve universes in my hand, we will start the third phase of our plan, said Sonia, the mother of all angels, as she looked at her two children, who soon nodded in agreement. Icarus said, Let Khan be as distracted as possible, little sister, because if he finds out, he will try to stop us, and even though I am the strongest of angels, I am not able to defeat him. But our mother has a way of doing that if anything goes wrong, said the leader of the angel army to his sister, who just nodded her head positively. Monica said, If this is our mother's wish, clearly I will do it. And don't worry, my brother Icarus. I will make Khan distracted long enough so that he doesn't interfere with our plans. And if anything happens, I will use my power to do it as he sleeps. Even though he's strong, he won't be on high guard around me. So I think I can make him sleep, said Monica, while looking at her brother Icarus and mother Sonia. In the 13th universe. Currently in the 13th universe, it was possible to see several of the angels that were sealed by the Daishinkan. They were still celebrating the death of their father and the victory of their younger brother Khan. And Khan was very happy having fun with his brothers. After some time of partying, Khan decides to leave that place and go find his mother in order to know what they would have to do now. Because he still didn't know what the next thing he would have to do. Because the objective of killing Daishinkan had already been completed and he didn't know what the next step would be. Khan thought, it's great to see my brothers and sisters partying, even if it's our father's death. That really makes me sad, but it's all his fault. The one who made the choice to seal my mother and myself and all my brothers and sisters for all these years was him. So this was all his fault, thought the angel Khan, considered the strongest among all angels. Khan thought, let's see what my mother tells us to do now. I wonder if she's going to ask us to go to all 12 universes and try to recruit our brothers and sisters and bring them to our side. Even though I think the current angels are very obedient to their gods of destruction, but I also know that there must be those who are not satisfied. Well, I'll talk to her soon, and she'll know what we should do, thought the angel as he walked towards his mother's room. As Khan walked towards his mother's room, he was lost in his thoughts, but soon he stopped thinking when he saw his sister coming from the direction of his mother's room. And soon the angel called his older brother's name. Monica said, Khan. He called out to Anja for his brother, who soon came out of his thoughts and started paying attention to his older sister. Khan said, Hi, Monica. What are you doing here? I thought you were somewhere at the party since I haven't seen you since the moment the party started. So I ended up thinking you were enjoying the party with some of our sisters said the angel while looking at his big sister who gave a smile to his little brother. Monica said, I wasn't at the party, brother. I was with our mother playing some board games and cards. You should know by now that I've never been much of a party fan. Now, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be enjoying your party. After all, it was made especially for you, Khan. Monica said while facing her younger brother who was kind of embarrassed for not having remembered that his sister Monica doesn't like parties. Khan said, I'm sorry Monica, I had forgotten that you don't like parties, but games that need to be strategy and intelligence. 
said the angel quickly apologizing to his sister who just gave him a smile. Khan said, Anyway, answering because I'm not at the party is because I'm going to see our mother to know what we will do from now on. Now that our father is dead, I don't know what I should do. After all, we angels were training for centuries to be able to defeat and kill our father. And now that he's dead, I don't know what to do. And that's why I'm going to talk to our mother, said the angel to his sister, who ended up widening her eyes for a few seconds. But in a few seconds, she returned to normal and looked seriously at her younger brother. Monica said, true. We, for the last few centuries, focused only on killing our father and forgot what we would do when he is dead. Maybe now that he's dead, we can rebuild Universe 13 and maybe rebuild all the other universes. She told the angel, her brother, who looked at her strangely, the way Monica had spoken. Khan said, how to rebuild all universes? Could you explain better, Monica? Said the angel in a slightly confused, but at the same time serious tone to his sister, who ended up letting a drop of cold sweat run down her forehead. Monica said, I'm talking about rebuilding all the universes at once. You know that the God of Destruction ended up doing many things wrong, and even destroyed several beings with great potential for no reason, just because they wanted to. And you must agree that this was wrong. No, is it not, my brother? Said the Anja with a little fear that her younger brother had suspected the truth that she and her mother are hiding. Khan said, Even I thought you wanted to destroy all other universes, and those that get in your way. <laughs> But it seems like you just want to bring back those who were killed unfairly by the hands of the gods of destruction. And of course I agree with you, sister, spoke Khan with a smile on his face, excited and determined to protect those who were unfairly killed by the hands of the gods of destruction. Khan said, Well, I don't want to delay you anymore, Monica. Now I'm going to see our mother. So see you later, Monica, said the younger angel, soon heading towards his mother's room, leaving his older sister behind. Monica thought, that was close. If I hadn't come up with the excuse about wanting to bring people who were killed by the gods of destruction back to life, Khan would have realized that I was talking about rebuilding everything from scratch by destroying everything and everyone who doesn't obey our mother. Luckily, he didn't realize my true intentions. The Anja thought as she let out a heavy sigh with a little fear of her brother for the strength he now possesses. Icarus said, that was close too, Monica, said Icarus coming out of the shadows and then standing next to his sister as they were both looking at the place Khan had gone. Monica said, yes, that was close by luck. I was able to come up with a good excuse and he didn't realize my true intentions. Now what is Icarus doing here? I thought you were going to train the angels and send them to invade the other 12th universes. Anja Monica asked her brother Icarus. Icarus said, I came here to warn you that it will not be possible to invade the seventh universe where our father had been killed, said the angel Icarus in a serious tone to his sister, who was surprised. But soon she closed her eyes and concentrated and soon managed to see that around the seventh universe, there was a barrier that prevented any other being from another universe from entering it. Monica said, you're right. It seems that Zenosama and his bodyguards made this barrier to prevent us from invading that universe. But that's not so important now, so you and your warriors must invade the other universes and conquer them. Anja Monica spoke to her brother, who just gave her a wide smile. Icarus said, More and of course, little sister. Now, if you allow me, I have to start an invasion. And don't forget to stop Khan from spoiling our conquest plans, said the angel in a serious tone to his sister, who just gave him a small smile. Monica said, no need to worry, Icarus. I won't let him find out about the invasion. But just in case, you shouldn't get into any battles, said the Anja in a more serious tone that left Icarus very confused. Icarus said, why shouldn't I participate in battles, Monica? Asked the angel in a very serious and annoyed tone. Monica said, you're one of the strongest angels we have, Icarus. In fact, the strongest apart from Khan. And for that reason, I don't want you to get into battle for a while, because if Khan finds out the ones that we're doing, he's going to eliminate us. So no battles for a while, at least until the real plan is ready, said the woman to her brother, who soon understood why he didn't engage in battles for some time. Icarus said, what the hell? But since I'm leading my army, I'm going to ask my men to spread my name across all universes. If they don't obey me, 
They'll have to deal with the almighty angel Icarus. Ha ha ha! Said the angel, giving a heavy sigh and annoyed for not being able to fight anyone. Something that Icarus really wanted to do was fight from the beginning. In Universe 7. Currently in Universe 7, it was possible to see Goku and Vegeta dressed in their classic clothes only renewed. In front of both Saiyans, it was possible to see all the friends and family of Goku and Vegeta. They were there to disperse themselves because Goku and Vegeta would have to leave for them to start a very intense training to be able to face the evil angels because they will be the new one opponents of the Z warriors. Goku said, well, I guess now we'll have to say goodbye, and neither of us knows when we'll be able to return to Earth. And being honest, I don't even know if I'll be able to come back, said the Saiyan to his friends and family who didn't understand why Goku said that. Krillin said, How could you not make it back? What do you mean by that, Goku? asked one of Goku's childhood friends and best friend. Goku said, I was thinking a little earlier, said the Saiyan before being interrupted by Piccolo's laughter, who was further away from everyone. Piccolo said, you thinking this is big news, said the Namekian while having a few laughs, being accompanied by the others present, including Beerus and Whis. Chi Chi said, But what were you thinking, Goku? asked the Saiyan's wife to the same who soon gained a more serious expression than before. Goku said, I was thinking about what Zeno Sama's bodyguards had said earlier that if I received Zeno Sama's powers, my body wouldn't withstand so much power and would be destroyed. And because of that, maybe not even if I carry out the training, I will be able to withstand Zenosama's power. Maybe my body will still be destroyed after I use Zenosama's power. And I know that not even the Dragon Balls will be able to bring me back. Come back to life, because I know that Shenron's power is not able to rebuild my body after being destroyed by Zenosama's power. Said the Saiyan very seriously to everyone in the place, who when they heard that they were worried because that could mean that Goku even coming out as the winner against the evil angels, he would still die because his body wouldn't be able to withstand the side effects of Zeno's power. Gohan said, What are you talking about, father? Are you saying that even if you win the fight against the evil angels, you will still die after using Zenosama's powers, and not even the Dragon Balls will be able to bring you back to life? The Saiyan's eldest son spoke in a serious and worried way while looking at his father. Goku said, Yes, my son, maybe this will be the last time we see each other, said Goku in a sad way, but still had his classic smile on his face as he scratched the back of his neck with one of his hands. Bulma said, Why are you saying this, Goku? Earlier, Zenosama's bodyguards had said that you would only die using Zenosama's power if you had a weak body, but with training, your body will be able to withstand Zenosama's power, said Goku's childhood friend to the same one who soon spoke. Goku said, the training will serve for me to withstand Zenosama's power, but this will be temporary, and after his power leaves me and returns to Zenosama, my body will enter a state of fragility, and so will in the tournament of power. The energy left in my body will destroy my body from the inside out, and at that time, I was lucky not to have died after using the power of Ultra Instinct. But I'm sure the power of Ultra Instinct doesn't reach 1% of Zenosama's power, and so the side effects will be much stronger. And for sure, my body will be destroyed in a state that I won't be able to get back to life. And maybe even the Super Dragon Balls won't be able to bring me back to life, said the Saiyan while looking at all his friends and family who were sad, and some even crying because they knew that Goku would really die after facing the evil angels. Beerus spoke. Is that true? Asked the God of Destruction in a calm manner to Zeno's two bodyguards. Zeno's bodyguard number one said he's right said Zeno's bodyguard, confirming to everyone that Goku will die, making everyone even sadder with this confirmation. Goten said, So my father will die even after using Zeno-sama's powers? Saiyan's youngest son spoke in a tearful tone as he looked at his father and then at Zeno's bodyguards. Zeno's bodyguard number two said, Yes, the Saiyan is right, but not quite right. After using Zenosama's powers, he will still have a small chance to stay alive after using Zenosama's powers, but if he stays alive, he will have to go sometime without getting involved in a battle. Such words made everyone in the place gain a little hope that Goku is still alive after using Zenosama's powers. Goku said, So I have a chance to stay alive after using Zenosama's powers? Good thing, being honest, I still don't want to die once and for all right now. <laughs> this news relieves me said the Saiyan, giving a heavy sigh as he placed his hand on his chest. 
something that made everyone giggle as Goku went from a serious tone to relieved in a matter of seconds. Wiz thought, Once again the gods like to play with the lives of mortals. I like Mr. Goku and his friends, and seeing Zeno's bodyguards and Zeno himself are not caring whether or not he dies after using Zeno-sama's powers, and to be honest, it makes me angry, thought the current Universe 7 angel, gripping his staff while looking at all of Goku's friends who were relieved to have a chance of him staying alive after using Zeno's powers. But even then, the chances of him dying were still huge. Zeno too said, Have you guys finished talking? We have to go to Goku and this other Saiyan to get stronger, to be able to face the evil angels, and so we will have several amazing battles. Future Zeno spoke to everyone in that place. Zeno 1 said, That's right. The faster they get stronger, the faster we'll see amazing and animated battles against the evil angels. Zeno spoke with a smile on his face, acting like a kid in a candy store. Vegeta said, We've said goodbye, and we can go training now. But I'm worried about what will happen to the two of us far from planet Earth, said the Saiyan prince while looking at Zeno and his two guards. Zeno's bodyguard once said, You don't need to worry about that. We've already created a barrier around the seventh universe, and with it will be very difficult for the evil angels to invade the seventh universe. But this barrier won't stay up during long time, and probably Sonya, the mother of angels, will be able to find a way to break the barrier. So we better go soon said one of Zeno's bodyguards while looking at Vegeta. Vegeta said, That's good to know. So we can go now, right Kakaroto? Asked the Saiyan to his Saiyan rival. Goku said, Yes, we can go. So bye guys, I hope I can see you again after all this is over, and please Bira-sama, I ask you to protect my family in case the evil angels come to our universe, shouted the Saiyan to Beerus. Beerus said, Don't worry, I'll protect both of your family, and I'll protect this planet. So train and get strong enough to finish off those damn evil angels. The God of Destruction shouted to the two Saiyans who were beside Zeno and his guards, and soon they all disappeared in a pillar of colored light. Beerus said, Now that they've gone to training to face those evil angels, you will have to start training too, said the God of Destruction turning around and looking at the Z warriors. Krillin spoke, What do you mean, Sir Beerus? asked the human to the God of Destruction. Whis said, Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta started training to be able to defeat the evil angels, but in the meantime, the chances of the years trying to invade our universe are very big, and so you will all have to get stronger and fight and protect the life in Universe 7, said the angel, getting further ahead of Beerus. Android number 18 said, So we will all be trained by you so we can face the evil angels and protect our universe while Goku and Vegeta train to defeat that Khan guy, right? Krillin's wife asked the angel. Wiz said, that's right. So I hope everyone is ready as your training to protect the seventh universe will start right now, said the angel with a serious expression on his face, making all the warriors in the place get excited, but at the same time with fears of the hellish training he would have to face the evil angels. In the 13th universe. Currently in the 13th universe, it was possible to see Khan in front of Sonia's door, his mother, who is also the mother of all the other angels. Then the angel Khan knocks on the big door and waits for his mother to open it or tell him to enter the room, something that didn't take long to happen. Sonia said, You can come in, said the mother of the angels still inside her room to Khan who was outside the room and quickly after hearing permission, he enters his mother's room. After Khan enters, he goes towards his mother, kneels next to her, and he says, My mother, I come here in your presence to ask you what our next objective will be. Because until now, the only objective that my brothers and I had was to defeat our father, and that I have already done. So my mother, I want to know what we will do from that moment on, asked the angel to his mother, who opened a small smile as she looked at her young son. Sonia spoke, You are right, my dear son Khan. Since the day we were sealed by your father, the Daishinken, we had only one goal to kill him. A goal that you accomplished in an excellent way, defeating him and showing that his creation ended up becoming your executioner as well. The woman spoke in a way that was proud of her son Khan's deeds, which ended up letting a proud smile escape her lips. Khan said, This was only possible because of the hellish training that my brothers and I had to go through during these years, and especially to my brothers who did the ritual and passed not only their powers, but also their wills to me. And with everything this, I was able to accomplish our goal that we had dreamed of so much all the years we were sealed, said the angel Khan, 
the younger angel getting up and looking into his mother's eyes. Sonia said, This is true, my son. The will of all angels was on your side to defeat the Daishinkan, and especially mine. Khan, you were not only the one who defeated the Daishinkan, but you were also the one who bought freedom to return to everyone, the angels, both those who had been sealed and those who were still under the tyranny of the Daishinkan. Spoke to Anja, to her son, praising him even more about his deeds and what he had brought to all his brothers and sisters. Khan said, I thank you for your beautiful compliments, my mother, but I still wonder what we will do from now on, said the angel as he looked at his mother, who soon began to speak. Sonia said, After your father's death, we have no other goal, but now that you've talked about it, I think there is another way for you to help your brothers and sisters, said the mother of the angels, while looking at her son, who was left curious about what it would be that he could help his brothers and sisters. Khan said, What would it be? How could I help my brothers and sisters? Tell me, my mother, and I will help them no matter what. The angel spoke with conviction about his decision to help his brothers and sisters. Sonia spoke, So how about helping to free your brothers from the gods of destruction they serve? For even though they are now free, they must still be afraid of disobeying the Daishinkan's orders. So if you defeat them, they and their brothers and sisters will realize that they no longer need to serve the gods of destruction, and so you can try to get them to come to you. The Thirteenth Universe I miss my other children since I haven't seen them in a long time, said the mother of the angels with small tears in the corners of her eyes as she spoke of her other children who hadn't seen them in decades. Khan said, No need to worry, my mother, for I will go to all the other twelve universes and I will defeat all the gods of destruction and I will leave my brothers and sisters free from the clutches of their tyrannies. So I beg my mother not to cry, because I will bring my brothers and sisters back, said the younger angel with a determined look to bring his brothers and sisters to see their mother again. Sonia said, I thank you so much, my son. I couldn't ask for a better son than you. I thank you every day for having a son like you, said the woman wiping her tears in how many of her eyes. Khan said, don't worry, my mother, because I will do your will. So I say goodbye. I will tell my brothers and sisters who are having fun at the party, and then I will go to the other universes to free my brothers and sisters. So see you later, my mother, said the angel as soon as he left his mother's quarters. Sonia, seeing that her son Khan had come out of her room, she was waiting until her son's energy was far away. And then, when she felt her son's energy was far away, Sonia sat on her bed and took a break smiled as she finished wiping her fake tears. Sonia said, My son Khan, you really are much stronger than you've ever been, and you're also more innocent and easier to manipulate than ever. Power goes to the heads of the weak, and it makes them proud and arrogant. This fact only made Khan even easier to control. It only took a few beautiful words from a mother to believe it all, thought the mother of angels, as she had a long time smile on her face about the incredible innocence and at the same time ignorance of her youngest son. Monica said, How was the conversation with Khan, mother? asked the Anja, soon appearing on the side of her mother's room. Sonia said, It was a very easy conversation, and don't worry, daughter, he doesn't suspect anything about the invasion. But order Icarus and his men not to invade the universe as yet, said the mother while sitting in her armchair, without even looking at her daughter. Monica said, but why will we have to prevent the invasion of the universes? Anja asked her mother. Sonia said, It's pretty simple, my daughter. Khan will do it for us. <laughs> I, with my persuasion skills, made Khan imagine that the angels are still afraid of breaking the rules of the late Daishinkan, because they are still afraid of being killed after they rebelled against the gods of destruction. And that's why Khan will go to each of the universes, defeating the gods of destruction and releasing the angels responsible for each universe. That way, we let Khan defeat the gods of destruction, and then the invasion will start. That way, there won't be any being that is able to stop our plan to destroy all the universes, ha ha ha, said the mother of all angels, while taking a bowl of tea by his side, and fill a cup of tea, and then drinking it in a calm and worry-free manner. Monica said, Without the gods of destruction, our victory will be faster than before. Your idea was splendid as always, my mother. I am even impressed with the way you see things and how you use them effectively, spoke the Anja, impressed with the way her mother thought. Sonia said, I appreciate your compliment, my dear daughter. I always knew that the Daishinkan was very weak and loyal to Zinio, who is Zenosama's father. 
and I always knew that if he ever had to choose between Zinio and me, he would choose Zinio without even thinking. And that was one of the big reasons for me to create some plans to defeat the Daishinkan and protect my life and the lives of my children, said the mother of the angels while looking at her reflection in her tea. Monica said, I understand. Now I will have to say goodbye to my mother, and I will quickly meet Icarus and tell him his objectives. And apparently, I will have to go with Icarus in the other universes as his means of transport between the universes. And that way I'll be able to watch him and make sure he doesn't end up finding out anything about our true objective. Anja spoke to her mother, who just waved her hand at her. Just as she arrived, Monica disappeared in a small beam of white light, leaving Sonya alone in her quarters. Sonya thought, Daishinkan, this is all your fault, and the fault of your absolute loyalty to Zinio. If you weren't so blind, all this wouldn't have happened. You wouldn't have sealed our son, saying that you had erased him from existence, and I wouldn't have then trying to kill Zinio all the time. All this is your fault and yours alone. I myself didn't want to have to kill you, and because I still love you, I had to make my children kill you, because I wouldn't be able to. Damn, Daishinkan, you should have stayed by my side, and not that kid called Zeno-sama, and for that reason I will kill him. And when that happens, I will reign over all universes, thought the Mother of Angels as she imagined her and Daishinkan in the future together, ruling all universes alongside their children. And Sonia already knew how she would bring the Daishinkan back to her side, without the loyalty he had for Zenosama, the Mother of all Angels, will use the Super Dragon Balls to bring Daishinkan back to life. This is another one of Sonia's plans. With Goku and Vegeta, currently in another dimension in front of a kind of temple that appeared to be very important. Being that that was Zenosama's home in the dimension, it was suddenly possible to see a huge pillar of colored energy that appeared in front of that important temple. And from that energy pillar, it was possible to see Goku, Vegeta, Zeno from the future, and Zeno from the past, and his guards coming out of the energy pillar, and soon that energy pillar disappeared. Vegeta said, Where are we? This doesn't look like Universe 7, and I doubt it's another location within Universe 12, asked the Saiyan Prince to Zeno and his bodyguards. Zeno's bodyguard number one said, We are currently in another dimension, and this is the dimension we use in emergencies to protect Zeno-sama's life, said one of Zeno's bodyguards to Vegeta. Vegeta said, But why are we here exactly? Shouldn't we be somewhere that would help us with our training? The Saiyan asked again to Zeno's bodyguards. This time, Zeno's second bodyguard spoke. Zeno's bodyguard number two said, The answer to his question is quite simple, Saiyan. The world of dimension is a place where time passes faster than any other universes. And for that reason, you two will train here. Because if you train in another place, it wouldn't give enough time for both of you to become strong enough to face those evil angels. One of Zeno's bodyguards spoke to Vegeta, and now it was Goku's turn to ask them a question. Goku said, so we came to this dimension where Zeno-sama stays, when his life is seriously at risk, and where time passes faster than Earth time, and with that, Vegeta and I will be stronger before the angels threaten to invade the Earth. Seventh universe? I think I understood everything. Saiyan said while looking at Zeno's two bodyguards. Vegeta said, Amazing. This way of thinking doesn't even seem to be the same Kakarot I know, who doesn't know how to think properly said the Saiyan prince with a mocking tone as he spoke and looked at his Saiyan rival. Goku said, Hey Vegeta, said the Saiyan while looking at his Saiyan rival who just laughed. Zeno one said, Will this training of Goku and Vegeta be as interesting as the battles that were fought during the Tournament of Power? The Zeno of the past spoke while looking at his future version. Zeno two said, Maybe so, but maybe they are boring and without the slightest interest, so I hope they are fun at least so that we don't get completely bored. Future Zeno said to his past version. Zeno 1 said, Will these trainings be fun? Asked Zeno from the past to one of his bodyguards. Zeno's bodyguard number 1 said, It will be a little interesting, because Mr. Goku will train with both of us, while Mr. Vegeta will be trained by the spirit of the gods of destruction ancestors, so that Vegeta will become the strongest. Said one of the bodyguards of Zeno, to the same one who got excited and left Goku and Vegeta confused. Goku said, How so? I will be trained by the two of you, and Vegeta will be trained by the spirits of the ancestral gods of destruction, asked the Saiyan confused by what Zeno's bodyguard had said. Vegeta said, I must agree with Kakarot this time. I really don't understand how this is going to happen, and how will I be trained by the spirits of the ancestors of god of destruction? 
asked the Prince of Saiyans who, like his rival, was completely lost in the matter. Zeno's bodyguard too said, more generally, I would say that Mr. Goku will be trained to be an angel and Mr. Vegeta will be a god of destruction. And with that, the two of you would be the most powerful angel and god of destruction in the world. All history since the beginning of the creation of all the universes. Zeno's bodyguard spoke as he looked at the two Saiyans, who were shocked to know that they would both be the strongest angel and god of destruction in all of history. Goku said, So I'm kind of turning into some kind of angel? And not only that, but I will become the strongest angel in history, surpassing even Master Whis said the Saiyan very excited, with stars in his eyes, just imagining the power he would have. Vegeta said, And I will become a kind of god of destruction, and I will be stronger than all the gods of destruction, and I will surpass even the current twelve gods of destruction, said the Saiyan thinking of himself, wearing the god of destruction costume, and by his side was Goku in an angel costume. Zeno One said, So Goku will become some kind of angel like the Khan guy. Cool spoke Zeno from the past, with stars in his eyes, just imagining Goku with the angel costume. Zeno too said, And Vegeta will become a god of destruction, and will be the strongest in history? Amazing! With that level of power, Vegeta will be able to face the evil angels, and Goku will be able to face Khan. And this will be so much fun, I'm dying to see them fight. Future Zeno spoke with a white smile on his face, just like his past self. Zeno's bodyguard one said, That's right. With the power of a true god of destruction, Lord Vegeta will be able to face and defeat the evil angels. And Lord Goku, after possessing Zenosama's powers, he will be able to face the angel Khan, the most powerful among the evil angels. Spoke Zeno's bodyguard while looking at the two Saiyans in that location, who were very excited to get such power, and thus become even stronger. Zeno's bodyguard too said, But now it's time we stop just talking about how strong these two are going to become. It's time we put it into practice. Vegeta, you turn with me to the room of the time of destruction, where the spirits of all the gods of destruction still live, and there will be the place where you will train and improve your higher ego. And you, Goku, will go with him to the temple room of balance, where you will be trained to support Zenosama's powers within you, said one of Zeno's bodyguards to both Saiyans who nodded in agreement, and then everyone left that place, heading towards the room where each of the Saiyans will be trained. In the Ninth Universe Currently in the Ninth Universe, it was possible to see Sidra, the god of destruction of that universe, together with his Kaioshin called Ru, and next to them was the angel Moito, who had an anxious expression on his face, something that the god of destruction Sidra was not even caring about. Sidra said, The story of the Daishinkan being killed is clearly a lie. After all, he is the most powerful being in all the universes. He is only below the Zenosama. That's my opinion, and what's yours, Ru? Universe 9th, God of Destruction asked his Kaioshin, who was beside him. Ru said, I agree, the Daishinkan is second only to Zenosama, so this story about him being defeated is a lie, because there's no reason for an angel who is the Daishinkan's son to have such great power to kill. So rest easy, Sidra. Universe 9's Kaioshin spoke to his God of Destruction, who became calmer after hearing his words. Moito thought, is this true or not? I haven't been feeling my father's energy for some time now. And if he is really dead, then does that mean that we angels are free from our rules? Could I stop serving that damn Sidra? No, this must be a test to see our loyalty, so I better not try to do anything, thought Universe 9's angel as he looked at his god of destruction and clutched his staff in his hand, trying not to let his anger show. Khan spoke, Daishinkan is dead, and very well dead. I can assure you, since I was the only one who killed him said a mysterious voice, being coming out of a portal and looking at the god of destruction who was shocked to feel the energy of that being in front of him. Ru said, But who are you? asked the Kaioshin with a little fear hearing that voice. The mighty angel spoke, I am Khan, one of Sonia's sons, mother of all angels, who was said to have been erased thousands of years ago. But in reality my father known as the Daishinkan sealed me next to my mother and my brothers, and all this time we were sealed, but now, out of the seal, it has been broken, I went after the Daishinkan's head and killed him, and bought freedom for all angels, said the angel as he looked at everyone with a look of shock, except Moito who had gained a smile on his face. Khan said, I only came here to free my brother, Moito, so brother, what do you want? Serve this god of destruction or be free and live with your brothers, and your mother, who misses you so much, asked the angel to his brother. Sidra said, 
It looks like it. You must just be a charlatan who thinks you can intimidate a god of destruction. And I, as the god of destruction of Universe 9, I will not allow you to do what you want in my universe. The god of destruction spoke nervously while creating a power sphere of destruction and then shooting at Khan. But something that surprised Sidra and Ru was when Sidra's sphere of destruction was destroyed not by Khan's hand, but by the hands of Mojito, who appeared in front of Khan and nullified Sidra's attack. Mojito said, Finally, I have my freedom, and with it, I can finally do this, said the angel, creating a sphere of energy in his hand and shooting at Sidra and Ro, who were eliminated immediately. Khan said, And good tell by our side, brother. Now, let's go, because our mother is waiting for you, said the angel, and soon a door appeared beside him, being a portal created by Monica, and soon the three angels entered the portal, leaving the ninth universe and returning to the thirteenth universe. Back with Goku and Vegeta. Currently, with the two Saiyans, it was possible to see that both were still in the other dimension, where they were trained to face the evil angels. For those on planet Earth, it had only been a few hours since the departure of Goku and Vegeta, but for the two Saiyans it had already been a few years, and it was currently possible to see both Saiyans training together, and both were using their most advanced forms. Current powerful ones, with Goku using the power of Ultra Instinct, and Vegeta using the power of the Superior Ego, which was more refined than before. Because it had been trained by the spirits of the Gods of Destruction that helped Vegeta achieve a very powerful power bigger than before. Zeno's bodyguard Warren thought, They're both getting strong at a good rate. I must admit that the Saiyans have a much greater adaptation and evolution than many beings, and especially these two, because what would it take a few centuries for them to get that power? Goku and Vegeta did it in just a few decades and a few years. One of Zeno's bodyguards thought, impressed by the speed of adaptation and evolution of the two Saiyans. Zeno 2's bodyguard spoke, Looks like the angel's plan has already started. Zeno's other bodyguard spoke to the other bodyguard, something that ended up attracting the interest of the two Saiyans, who stopped training and soon floated in front of both Zeno's bodyguards. Goku said, What happened? You said that the angel's plan has already started, and we both would like to know what's going on. The Saiyan asked one of Zeno's bodyguards. Zeno 2's bodyguard said, Apparently Khan is traveling between universes and bringing the angels to his side, and in the process he's killing the gods of destruction. So far, the gods of destruction of the 4th, 8th, and 9th universes are dead. And with that, their universes no longer have a god of destruction, and their angels are on the side of Khan and the other evil angels. Zeno's bodyguard spoke to both Saiyans who were shocked by such an event. Vegeta said, So Khan is trying to bring the angels of the 12th universe to his side, and to top it off, he's killing the gods of destruction, making the universes easier to be dominated by the other evil angels. Is he smart? or he just doesn't want to kill his brothers and sisters," said the Saiyan with one of his hands on his chin while looking at Zeno's bodyguard. Goku said, Recruiting the angels will make Khan's army even stronger, and killing the gods of destruction weakens the universes. It's a good strategy for the evil angels. Zeno's bodyguard one said, Looks like you guys will have to fight sooner than anticipated. Goku said, What do you mean to fight sooner than you predicted? said the Saiyan to Zeno's bodyguards. Zeno 2's bodyguard 2 spoke, Whis, the angel, responsible for Universe 7, recently had some angry looks on Zeno-sama. I was suspicious of him, but now I'm sure of one thing. During his encounter with Khan, Whis, he ended up gaining a kind of evil energy within himself, one that despised Zeno-sama, said Zeno's bodyguard, making both Saiyans shocked and surprised by the information. Vegeta said, Are you saying that Whis, who had trained me and Kakarot, will become our enemy, and we will have to face him? asked the Saiyan prince to Zeno's bodyguard, who soon replied. Zeno's bodyguard number one said, Yes, you will, but it will not be necessary to kill him. Whis just has an evil energy inside him that is making him act that way, so you will have to defeat him and purify this evil energy inside his body. Zeno's bodyguard spoke to the two Saiyans. Zeno's bodyguard too said, But who will have to face Whis? Will be you, son Goku, said Zeno's bodyguard to the Saiyan something that made Vegeta confused and a little outraged. Vegeta said, Why is Kakarot going to have to face Whis and not me? asked the Saiyan while looking at his rival, who was beside him. Zeno's bodyguard one said, The answer is simple. Son Goku will face the angel Whis using a fraction of Zenosama's power, besides being a good way to know if his training is being effective. He's the only one who can purify the evil energy within the angel Whis. This is the only way to save him, and if Lord Vegeta tried to face Whis, 
he would probably destroy him using the power of destruction you possess. Zeno's bodyguard said to both Saiyans something which impressed both of them, even more than he said that Vegeta would have enough power to kill Whis if they fought each other. Vegeta said, Wait, are you telling me that my current power can beat Whis? said the Saiyan prince impressed at how much he has evolved since the moment he arrived at that place. Zeno's bodyguard number two said yes, if you use superior ego in its perfect form, you would be able to defeat Whis, and that's why Goku will have to face Whis, because he is still weak compared to you, Vegeta. So Son Goku, get ready, because he will receive some of Zeno-sama's power in order to face the angel Whis. One of Zeno's bodyguards spoke, leaving both Goku and Vegeta shocked that he claimed that Goku is weaker than Vegeta with his current power. Currently in Universe 7 Currently in Universe 7, it was possible to see all the Z warriors training under the supervision of Whis and Beerus, with Whis being further away from the group. Whis, who was further away from everyone because he had something strange about him, Whis was wet from so much sweat he was panting, having a dark aura surrounding his whole body, something that made Beerus confused and afraid. Beerus spoke, Whis, are you okay? asked the God of Destruction, worried about his friend and master. Whis said, Get away from me, now! said the nervous angel, releasing his energy, making Beerus walk away. After releasing his energy, Whis turned and looked at Beerus, as if he was a mortal enemy in a fraction of a millisecond. Whis was in front of Beerus, prepared to kill him. But a barrier appears and protects the god of destruction, being the barrier that was created by one of Zeno-sama's bodyguards. Zeno's bodyguard once said, It looks like the evil energy inside you has already been released, so it's time to cleanse it said Zeno's bodyguard, soon creating chains made of energy and trapping the angel. And suddenly a huge energy pillar appeared and surrounded Whis's body. And soon Zeno's guard will disappear, with Whis along with the energy pillar. Beerus spoke, But what just happened here? Why did Whis act so aggressively towards me? asked the god of destruction to Zeno's bodyguard. Zeno's bodyguard number one said, the angel Whis has an evil energy inside him, caused by the angel's anger, energy, to see his father dead. But no need to worry, this energy will be purified, and now I will have to withdraw, so until some other moment, God of Destruction of Universe 7. Zeno's bodyguard spoke to Beerus, and soon he disappeared into the pillar of energy of various colors, leaving everyone in that place without understanding anything that was happening. In another dimension of Zeno-sama, Inside the other dimension, it was possible to see a huge pillar of energy appearing in the center of that place, and from inside the pillar, it was possible to see Whis chained by the energy chains made by one of Zenosama's guards. But it didn't take long for Whis to destroy the chains that were holding him and looking at that place where he was. The angel tried to leave that place but was prevented when he received a flying kick, throwing him away, but quickly managed to recover, and then looked ahead and he found Son Goku with a different way than before. Goku said, I'm sorry, Whis, but what I'll do here is for your own good, said the Saiyan putting himself in a fighting stance and quickly advancing against Whis, who did the same thing as the Saiyan. Goku now with some of Zeno's powers could face an experienced angel like Whis on an equal footing, something easy to see when Whis tried to land a blow on Goku, but the same with extreme mastery, Goku managed to dodge the attack and land a crusader right in Whis's face, making him move away from the Saiyan. But Goku didn't stop, and he advanced again towards Whis, and this time making a big shower of blows that the angel could barely dodge. And when he dodged it, it was barely done. Whis, tired of that, walked away from the Saiyan and activated the power of Ultra Instinct, making an aura around his body. Now with the power, Whis advanced on Goku trying to punch the Saiyan in the face, but Goku held Whis's fist and made a circular aura, his own fist, and then Goku hit Whis in the stomach, causing the angel to vomit some blood. Goku said, You are strong, Whis, but your current state makes you weak, and now with Zenosama's powers, even being just a little bit, I'm stronger than you, and for that reason you lost, said the Saiyan while facing Whis on his knees, while blood came out of his mouth and other wounds all over his body. With Goku and Whis, Currently in the other dimension with Goku and Whis, it was possible to see that Whis was very injured because of the injuries caused by Goku. Unlike Goku, who had almost no injuries because Whis had almost not injured him during the fight. Goku said, Enough Whis, it would be nice if you kept quiet so I can purify the evil energy inside your body and make you come back to normal, said the Saiyan approaching Whis to be able to purify the evil energy inside his body. 
But the moment Goku got close enough to Whis, he could see that Whis's eyes were black, with his iris glowing violet, and soon a huge explosion of energy came out of Whis's body, causing Goku to walk away. And then Goku looked at his hand and saw that he had a burn wound. Goku thought, my hand burned when it came into contact with the energy that was coming out of Whis's body. But what power is this? Whis had never told us he had such a power. No, now that I see this is the power of destruction that the gods of destruction possess. But how does he have it? The Saiyan wondered when he saw and felt the power of destruction that was being released by Whis, who didn't seem to know how to control that large amount of energy of destruction. As he came out of his thoughts, Goku looked again at Whis and saw that the great power of destruction had created a kind of black cocoon that began to crack and suddenly destroyed itself, releasing a wave of destruction energy much denser than the energy of a god of destruction. Soon after, several attacks came out of that cocoon and went towards Goku, but Goku used his power, creates a barrier around his body to not be hurt by Whis's attack. And the effect of the barrier Goku was, as expected, a real one, success because Goku didn't leave where he was and receive the attacks, but because of the barrier, he wasn't hurt. Goku said, What giant power is this? It doesn't seem to be, but the pure and neutral energy that Whis has, but an opposite being dark and evil that seeks the destruction of everything and everyone that stands in its way, said the Saiyan when he felt the enormous power of destruction coming out of Whis, along with several negative emotions that made that energy even more dangerous and destructive. Whis said, Son Goku, I have a power that not even the gods of destruction are able to use. This is the true power of destruction, a power that was forbidden of angels to use by our father Daishinkan. But he is no longer here to stop us from using it. Son Goku, you said that I was strong, but not strong enough to defeat you, right? Repeat it if you dare, said the angel coming out of that cocoon made of energy of destruction. But now Whis had a different form. When coming out of that cocoon made of energy of destruction, it was possible to see Whis with a completely different form. His previously light skin had dark and lines of violet energy spread through the angel's body, as if it were a crack, and on his chest was a symbol of the gods of destruction, only much bigger and with a stronger and more intense coloring than purple. Goku thought, now that I've noticed better, this is the power. This is the true power of destruction, and not even the gods of destruction can use it. Vegeta had told me that the angels must teach the gods of destruction how to use the energy of Hakai, and for that reason, angels possess the energy of destruction only in a purer form, and only one god of destruction in history has been able to use it. But this power that Whis is using is a version corrupted by the evil energy within him. The Saiyan thought as he looked at Whis's new form that more and more exuded his power. Whis said, Enough of staring at me, Son Goku. Now it's time to see if you, with Zeno-sama's power, will be able to beat me. But you should be able to do that. After all, you said that with Zeno's powers, I have no chance of beating you. So let's see if this is true, spoke the corrupted angel while looking at Goku, who upon hearing this went into a combat stance. If you say anything else, Whis advances towards Goku, who did the same thing, but the way the two will disappear from the place where they were and reappear in front of each other, exchanging the first blow, the attack between them was so powerful that it ended up creating a huge wind in that place, and soon both will move away just to get more momentum and advance again, and this time Goku managed to hit Whis, but the angel also hit Goku with a kick in the center of the Saiyan's stomach. Upon receiving Whis's kick in his stomach, Goku ended up letting his guard down, and with that Whis saw the perfect opportunity for him to hit Goku hard. Whis then started a rain of blows on Goku hitting him with a sequence of blows aimed at his abdomen then went to Goku's face leaving him confused because of the blows. To finish Whis would land another attack on Goku's face, only this time it was a punch loaded with ki. But Goku activated the power of his ultra instinct and was able to dodge the blow. And then Goku managed to punch Whis in the stomach that was sent far away from the Saiyan. Goku without wasting time advanced towards Whis who had recovered from the Saiyan's blow. And Whis quickly started shooting several ki spheres towards the Saiyan something completely useless as he was dodging all attacks as if it were nothing for him. Even though those spheres are going faster than the speed of sound, Goku unconsciously deviated because of Ultra Instinct along with Zenosama's power. When Goku got close enough to the angel, he punched him in the stomach and then punched him from top to bottom, causing the angel to take his feet off the ground and to finish the sequence of attacks. 
Goku uses his fist with a large amount of ki and punches Whis, but the angel already foreseeing that attack makes his energy of destruction focus on his abdomen, thus minimizing Goku's attack and harming him at the same time. Because even with his fist imbued with energy, he still ended up being injured. By the dense energy of Whis's power of destruction. Goku thought, Damn it! If I attack him, I still take damage from the energy of destruction. And if I don't attack him, I still take damage. And it seems that when he focuses his power in just one place, that energy of destruction gets becomes more destructive. So I will have to do the same thing instead of letting my energy flow through my whole body. I will focus on just one place, but I don't know if it will have any side effects because of that being Zenosama's power and not mine. But I don't have many choices, thought the Saiyan as he looked at his hand slightly injured by Whis's destruction energy. That way, Goku and Whis face each other for a few seconds before both disappearing and start a frantic combat that to the eyes of a normal human being was impossible to follow. The only thing that was possible to see was two lights, one purple mixed with violet and the other a kind of sky blue colliding, being that that was Goku and Whis facing each other at high speed. Soon the two warriors separate and start releasing even more power than they were releasing before, and this energy release from both was creating cracks in the very air in addition to starting to destroy the soil of that place. Goku thought, what the hell, not even with Zenosama's powers I'm managing to beat Whis. It looks like I'll have to go further and use more of Zenosama's power. It's now or never, said the Saiyan looking at Whis, who was releasing a lot of energy with destruction. With that thought in his mind, Goku begins to release even more energy from within himself, something that created cracks throughout Goku's entire body. His eyes turned completely white with no pupils, and a huge explosion was created, blinding Whis, who had to block the gigantic explosion using a barrier made of destruction energy. After a few seconds after the explosion, Whis undid his barrier and looked to where Goku should be, but what he saw scared him. Goku was now completely different having a type of body full of stars representing the universe itself, and in his eyes there were galaxies, something very beautiful. But for Whis, that meant danger and his possible defeat. Whis said, changing shape won't change you. No matter what, I will defeat you, and then I will go to my brother's side and I will defeat Zenosama and all the gods of destruction together, said the angel in fury upon seeing Goku's new form. But even saying all that, Whis could no longer follow Goku's movements, let alone match his strength, because after saying that in a matter of milliseconds, Whis had received several high-speed blows at some pressure points on his body, thus causing Whis to be defeated in a matter of milliseconds. Whis was defeated, and after that Goku's body began to glow, and after that glow disappeared, Goku had returned to his normal form, but with several cracks and wounds all over his body. In the dimension where Zeno lives, Currently in the dimension where Zeno lives, most of the time it was possible to see Saiyan of the 7th Universe Son Goku with the Angel of the 7th Universe Whis. The two were in front of each other, injured because of the fight, especially Whis who had been knocked out by Son Goku during the fight. Goku said this battle was difficult. I had to use Zeno's true energy to beat Whis, because the fragment of that energy was not being enough. Whis is very strong. I managed to defeat him easily, but my body is injured, and too tired for having deactivated the way Zeno's guards taught me and activated Zeno's true power, said the Saiyan while looking at the sky of that place. Saiyan Son Goku entered combat posture again when he saw an Anja appear at the location. Goku being worn out could not recognize who that Anja was. Vados then spoke. Son Goku, calm down. It's me, Vados. I was sent by Zeno's guards to help you remove and purify the evil energy of my brother, Whis, said the angel Vados to the Saiyan, but Goku wasn't trusting that much. Goku said, since Khan came and started recruiting angels, I can't trust any angels anymore, which guarantees me that you won't attack me, or take Whis out of here so I can't heal him, said the Saiyan still in combat posture. Vado spoke, you are wrong to doubt me, but before we heal my brother you better recover. Your friend Bulma sent this for you, said the angel Vado throwing a small bag to the Saiyan who caught it and saw that there were some seeds of the gods in it. The Saiyan Son Goku took one of them and took it to his mouth. When he ate the seed, Son Goku regained his energies. Vado said, Now that you've recovered, Son Goku, you can use your powers to seal my powers temporarily, so you don't have to worry about me attacking you from behind. Vado said, showing his wrist to Saiyan Son Goku. Goku said, All right, said the Saiyan, raising one of his hands and creating a golden chain that held the angel Vados' wrists. 
After binding Vados' wrists with chains, Goku and the angel Vados were close to Whis, and Vados began giving instructions to Goku on how to remove the evil energy from within Whis, which was placed by the angel Khan. After a few moments, Goku had managed to remove the evil energy from within Whis. By doing so, a type of darkness came out of Whis's body, leaving him weak. So the Saiyan son Goku gave one of the seeds of the gods to Whis, which made the angel recovered and opened his eyes little by little due to the brightness of the place. Whis said, What? Where am I? How did I end up here? Whis spoke, the angel, as he got up little by little. Vado said, Calm down, brother. You ended up being controlled by the evil energy that somehow you absorbed when you met our brother Khan, and that evil energy made you lose control. And to help you, Son Goku had to defeat you in a combat, so that Goku could later purify the evil energy that was inside his body. And now you're fine. The evil energy was purified and expelled from your body. Vados explained to Whis, who was surprised by Vados, was using the energy chains. Whis said, I see, my memories are coming back, and I'm starting to remember what I did. But Vados, why are you shackled with these energy chains? Asked the angel Whis to his sister Vados. But the only one who answered was Goku. Goku said, From the moment I found out that the angels were being recruited by Khan, I was apprehensive. And when I saw Vados, I was worried that she had also been recruited by Khan. And for security reasons, I ended up creating these energy currents to make sure Vados wouldn't hurt me when I let my guard down to heal him. But now I know she's not with Khan, so I'm going to free her said the Saiyan as he looked at Vados and snapped his fingers, making the energy currents disappear. Whis said, Right, now that I'm back to being myself, we should go back to the seventh universe. In this case, Son Goku and I, Vados, you must go back to your universe and prepare all the warriors for the battle, because I don't know how, but I think the other angels will invade the other universes. And when that happens, fight, but fight to kill, said the angel Whis to his sister Vados, who was listening to Whis intently. Goku said, there's just one problem. They are angels and many mortals from other universes won't be able to defeat them, said the Saiyan son Goku while looking at Whis. Whis said, yes, they are angels, but many of them are weaker than they should be, due to the time they were sealed. It weakened them, and in addition, these angels who were sealed gave some of their energy to other angels, who they got stronger, and these ones we should be worried about. But I believe that the gods of destruction will take care of them. But among these angels that got stronger, there is one that the gods of destruction will not be able to defeat, because the one who will have the fight against him will be Vegeta. He will be able to defeat this angel, said the angel Whis to his sister Vados and to the Saiyan Son Goku. Goku said, While I will be facing Khan, Vegeta will be facing the strongest among the fighting angels, and with the fall of these two angels, there will only be one person left to defeat, said the Saiyan already understanding Whis's plan, or a part of it. Vado said, The only thing missing is the mother of angels, our mother. But only our father managed to defeat her once, and maybe only he knows how to do that. The angel spoke while thinking of a plan. Whis said, The Super Dragon Balls. If we manage to find all seven spears, we can make a wish to Super Shenlong. We could ask Shenlong to revive our father and reseal our mother and all our brothers who are still alive, said the angel Whis, thinking that the best solution would be to go after the Super Dragon Spheres and bring the High Priest back to the world of the living. Goku said, Right, you need to find a way to find the Super Dragon Balls, and at the same time prepare the warriors of your universe for this fight, and send a warning to the remaining good angels, letting them know that you are absolutely sure they have not been corrupted or who are on Khan's side. While you guys do that, I'll go back to my training. I need to strengthen as I'm extremely tired, since I barely use Zeno's power. If something extremely urgent happens, you let me know or let Vegeta know that we will leave our training place to go help you said the Saiyan Son Goku already preparing to return to his training, which was his highest priority that moment. Whis said, Okay, go back to your training, Goku. Vados and I will sort out the rest. When the battle is reaching a level that we will no longer be able to deal with, I will warn you and Vegeta. When you reach the final battle, it will finally happen between us. And the angels who are on Khan's side, said the angel looking at Goku, who then left the location using his teleportation. In the 13th Universe Currently in the 13th universe, it was possible to see that several angels were still partying, and among those angels was Khan enjoying a bit of the party with his brothers and sisters. But what Khan didn't know was that in a more isolated location, his brother Icarus was leading all the angels to a war with the objective of conquering all 12 universes. Icarus spoke. My dear brothers and sisters, today will be the day that we, the angels, will take control of everything that exists in all 12 universes. After this war and the victory of the angels, our mother Sonia will have control of everything, 
and we will never again have to stoop to other beings like the gods of destruction. While our weaker brothers are dancing, we will be fighting and conquering all, spoke the angel Icarus, inspiring his brothers and sisters who were frantic with a thirst for battle. Icarus spoke, My dear brothers and sisters, I wish you good luck, but it's not like we need luck, is it? <laughs> now go and rule all the universes so that our mother can create an empire where all angels are true gods. General Icarus spoke to his soldiers, who gave a huge shout, and one by one the angels disappeared in beams of light that took them to each corner of the twelve universes. Icarus spoke, Seventh universe, you are mine, said the angel before disappearing in a pillar of light in the sixth universe. Currently in the sixth universe, it was possible to see Vados and Champa together with several warriors from their universe, all of whom were trained by Vados, and this training was in an emergency so that they would all be ready for battle against the evil angels. Even Vados would participate in this battle, something that made everyone surprised, especially Champa. After all, he knew that deciding to fight would be the same thing as deciding to kill the angels, and the evil angels are also brothers of Vados. Champa said, are you sure you're going to join this battle, Vados? If you're really going to fight, you'll have to kill the angels, and they're your brothers, asked the god of destruction with a rather sad look towards his angel. Vados spoke. Yes, I'm sure of my decision to fight my brothers and sisters, but that doesn't matter anymore. My duty is to protect the sixth universe, and I will do that even if it means killing my brothers and sisters, said the angel while looking determinedly at her god of destruction, who just sighed and then gave her a smile. Champa said, I don't know if I'm going to die today, but if I die, thank you for all these years, serving me and helping me in my work, as a god of destruction," Champa said to his angel who was surprised by the words of her god of destruction. Hit spoke. It seems that it started, said the most famous assassin of the sixth universe, seeing several pillars of light appearing around the planet of the god of destruction. And when the pillars disappeared, everyone saw several angels wearing shining armor. Champa said, looks like the battle is about to start for real, so it's time to use that. Honestly, I never thought I would use this, but I have to protect my universe and prevent it from being conquered by those evil angels, said the god of destruction starting to float, until he was at a good height. When Champa was at a considerably high height, he began to release a large amount of energy, and along with it a large amount of steam came out of his body, and when all the steam disappeared, everyone could see that Champa was different. Champa was now lean and muscular, and even his energy of destruction was more intense than before, showing that this was Champa's strongest form. Champa said, this is my form that only my brother knew, and today everyone will witness the power of a true god of destruction. Sixth Universe, no need to hold back. Go with everything you've got and defeat all the invading angels, spoke the god of destruction to his warriors, who were motivated to see their god of destruction using all his power. Kefla said, since even the fat Champa, who is now skinny, will fight with everything, so I have to do the same thing, said the strongest fusion of the sixth universe, turning into Super Saiyan 3. Kaba said, This will be my first time using this power, but it should be enough to defeat these evil angels, said the Saiyan concentrating, and soon an aura of flames covered his body, and then Kaba's hair turned red, showing that he had transformed into a Super Saiyan god. Hit spoke. This is a battle that is more important than the tournament of power, so we must use full power right from the start, said the killer releasing a purple energy, and that was the energy of destruction, the same as the gods of destruction used. Vado spoke. Sixth universe, advance, ordered the angel to all her allies who advanced against the invading angels of her universe. In the seventh universe. Currently in the seventh universe, it was possible to see all the Z warriors gathered on planet Earth. While on the planet of the God of Destruction, there was Beerus and Wiss, as both were already in place, because they knew it would be the first place that the evil angels would attack, when they went there. And it was said and done that several pillars of energy appeared, around the God of Destruction's planet. Beerus spoke. Looks like they've arrived on time. Wiss, are you sure you're going to fight them? I know you're not 100% recovered, and besides, I'm seeing that among these angels are Cognac, the angel of the fourth universe, and Korn, the angel of the eighth universe, said the god of destruction, while looking at the evil angels and saw that they were on the side of the evil angels. Wiss said, no. The Cognac and Korn are being controlled by the same evil energy that was controlling me and causing me to attack you. Don't worry, Mr. Beerus, I will fight by your side, but I will not kill Cognac and Korn, and I will ask you, Beerus, not to kill them. We will defeat them and bring them back just like Mr. Goku did to me spoke the angel Wiss while looking at Beerus who just sighed. 
Vera said, Right. Taking Cognac and Kornoff, we can kill the rest of the angels. And I'm going to face an angel now. I better use my full power, said the god of destruction while looking at the evil angels. Soon Beerus began to float until he was at a good height and then began to pull a large amount of energy into his body, causing his energy of destruction to surround his body. And after a few seconds, an explosion of energy causing a lot of smoke and coming out of the smoke was Beerus in a fuller, more muscular form resembling his brother Champa's form. Beerus said, I never thought I would have to use this form. Only Champa knew about it and had seen it. But I also had some enemies who saw this transformation, but it was only once because they didn't have the privilege to tell the story. And these angels didn't either, said the God of Destruction while looking at the angels in a threatening way. Wiss said, right, let's defeat all the evil angels and then save all the universes. And finally we'll go to the planet Earth to celebrate eating several different types of foods, said the angel floating next to Beerus. And Wiss soon activated the aura of Ultra Instinct and then the two advanced against the angels. On Planet Earth Currently on Planet Earth, it was possible to see that the Z-Warriors were already facing some angels, and the angels were being neutralized by the Z-Warriors, focusing on Gohan and Brawly, who had been called by Goku to fight for the Earth, and as a legendary Saiyan wanted to protect his friends, he decided to go to Earth, and there it would be easier to protect his two friends. The battle was balanced, as there were several angels facing few warriors, but the few Z-Warriors were strong and doing the job. But in the middle of the fight, a huge pillar of energy had arrived on planet Earth, and from the pillar Icarus came out, and the evil angels at his side shouted his name. Icarus said, Is this the famous seventh universe? I expected to have a real strong warrior, maybe the green-haired being of a good toy, but not a real battle, said the angel as he looked at the warriors who were shaking because they were feeling the enormous power of Icarus. The only ones who still maintained the posture was Gohan, Piccolo, and Brawly. The rest were afraid of the angel. A mysterious being said, You seem to be the strongest of the angels after the angel called Khan, don't you? Asked the mysterious being to the angel. Icarus spoke, Yes, I am Icarus, the general of the angels, and you must be my opponent. I must say that you are strong. You will give me good fun. Tell me your name, said the angel while looking at the mysterious being. Granola spoke, My name is Granola, but I'm not your opponent. I'm just reinforcement to finish off your allies. Your opponent is that guy over there. Spoke Granola soon turned around and found a portal being formed, and Vegeta came out of the power of Ultra Instinct active. Icarus said, this is going to be fun. A future god of destruction with a high power will be my challenge before destroying this universe. Warrior, tell me his name, said the angel before being interrupted when Vegeta appeared and reappeared at the side hitting him with a punch on the side of his face, making him fly away. Vegeta said, Granola, take care of these weak angels, and let me take care of the general of angels. By the way, thanks for the help, said the Saiyan before leaving the place and went after Icarus. And Granola and everyone who heard Vegeta's words of thanks were surprised that he had done that. Far from that location. Now far from the Capsule Corporation and any form of life, it was possible to see Icarus and Vegeta starting to face each other and Vegeta was getting the better of him because of all the training he received. But Icarus had a much greater resistance than Vegeta thought, and that made the Saiyan's blows almost ineffective. Vegeta was faster than Icarus, and that made things a little easier. But because of Icarus's resistance, Vegeta's quick strikes didn't have the desired effect. In this way, Vegeta begins to concentrate his Akai energy in his fists, and after doing so, the Saiyan began to land several blows on Icarus, and these blows were having an effect on the angel, who, when feeling the blows, became irritated. Icarus, after feeling Vegeta's blows, the angel managed to hit the Saiyan, who ended up being thrown against a mountain. Only the whole mountain began to disappear because of Vegeta's energy of destruction. And when he got up, he was different. He had, in addition to his purple hair on his chest, where the marks and symbols of the gods of destruction, only that he looked like the union of all universes, showing that Vegeta had reached a new stage of his power. Icarus seeing that became enraged and activated his power of Ultra Instinct that he possessed and advanced against the Saiyan, and Vegeta seeing the angel coming towards him stood still and when Icarus was face to face with Vegeta, he gave a very powerful punch to the Saiyan's face, causing everything around to be thrown into limbo because of the impact wave that was generated. But something that Icarus didn't imagine happened, the punch didn't even make the Saiyan leave the place, and Vegeta was looking at him with a look of pity, as if the angel Icarus was an insect 
And before the angel could say anything, the angel ended up raising an extreme powerful punch. That made the angel cross an entire continent, and when he stopped Vegeta, he was already in front of him and grabbed him by the hair. Vegeta spoke. I should have chosen another universe to dominate, said the Saiyan while looking at Icarus, who had his mouth full of blood. But the angel should not accept losing that way, so he activated a form similar to Khan's, only weaker. Icarus said, Let's see if you'll keep your arrogance and your look now, said the angel ready to restart the fight between them. In the seventh universe, currently in the seventh universe, more precisely on planet Earth, it was possible to see Vegeta and Icarus facing each other. Vegeta was using his newest power, the evolved Ultra Ego, which was a more powerful version of the Ultra Ego he already had, and Icarus was using a power similar to that of his brother Khan, only that Icarus' power was inferior to that of his brother Khan. Icarus looking at Vegeta said, and then are you just going to stare at me or are you so afraid to face me that you can't say anything, because if that's what I understand, you're facing a very powerful being, in my case, said the angel Icarus arrogantly to Saint Vegeta. Vegeta said, no, I'm not fighting you, because I'm ashamed to see that this new form of yours is nothing more than a cheap copy of the one your brother Khan uses, and to see you showing off with that power of yours leaves me with I hate someone like you. Angels are supposed to be the strongest and most amazing beings in all the universes, but you make me feel sorry for your copy of power," said the saying with a face of disgust, making the angel Icarus very angry. Icarus, why, you damn god of destruction candidate. I will kill you and I will show everyone that you are not what everyone thinks, and after I kill you, I will show my brothers that I am stronger than my brother Khan and no one will be able to say anything. He said the angel very irritated with the saying. Vegeta said, are you serious? Are you trying to kill me to show your brothers that you are not inferior to your brother Khan? Well, I go through something similar to Kakaroto, but I don't need to kill anyone to prove anything. I just keep training and improving myself so that one day I can defeat Kakaroto in a fight and with that show everyone that I'm not the second strongest in the seventh universe and yes the first. I will defeat you Angel, but it won't be to prove that I'm the strongest, but to protect the seventh universe and my family. The Prince of Sane said, starting to release some of his power of destruction, making everything around him tremble. When Icarus saw what Vegeta was doing, he said, let's see if your power surpasses my power, said the angel Icarus releasing his energy and causing it to collide with the Sane's energy, thus creating a shock of energy. Vegeta and Icarus's energy shock caused the whole environment to change as this shock caused several cracks to appear on the ground, and in the sky a rain with several thunders and lightnings had begun. Feeling the planet tremble and seeing that the climate had changed just because there was a shock of energy between Vegeta and Icarus left Vegeta worried about what could happen to planet Earth if he and Icarus faced each other at that moment. Vegeta thought, I can't fight this angel here on Earth, I'll have to take him to the planet that Xenosama's bodyguards created, on this planet I can fight the angel Icarus without worrying about the fate of the planet, thought saying Vegeta as he looked at Icarus. Icarus, who was already tired of waiting, advanced against Vegeta who was standing still waiting for Icarus to approach. When he got close to the Saiyan, Icarus tried to kick Vegeta who used his teleportation technique to appear on the angel's back and before Icarus could make some movement, Vegeta held him and using his teleportation technique again, the two disappeared from that place. On a distant planet, on a planet similar to that of Zeno, it was possible to see Vegeta and Icarus appearing at that location. Icarus soon turned around and landed a blow on Vegeta, who managed to use his arms to defend himself, but because of the impact of the blow, Vegeta flew away. Icarus said, What place is this? Why did you bring me into this world? shouted the angel looking at the Saiyan who was watching the smoke that was coming out of the palm of his hand. Vegeta spoke, this is a planet created by Xenosama's bodyguards so that great battles could be fought without endangering the life of the entire universe. I brought you to this planet so I could finish you off without putting my family's life at risk, said the Sane with a slight smile while looking at the angel Icarus who gave a short laugh. Icarus said, you brought me to this place just to make sure nothing happened to your family, that's pathetic. I know, I will defeat you, but I will not kill you. I will first find your family and kill them right in front of you just for fun, and then I will kill you Sane, said the angel with a psychotic smile as he looked at the Sane. Vegeta said, well Icarus, I was going to defeat you to protect the seventh universe, but now I'll have to kill you for talking about my family, said the Sane releasing even more of his power, making everything around him tremble due to the amount of power being released. 
Vegeta rushed at Icarus at such a speed that Icarus was not able to see the Saiyan's movements. When Icarus noticed, Vegeta was already at his side and hit him with a punch that Icarus was unable to defend. Icarus then made a maneuver in midair to recover his balance and with a great impulse he advanced against the Saiyan who did the same thing and then both began to face each other. Vegeta and Icarus's blows were colliding and creating a crack in the ground with the impact wave. Luck was that Xenosama's planet was created to withstand the fights of the gods of destruction at their maximum power. Vegeta and Icarus were overcoming the gods. During the exchange of blows between the two warriors, Icarus managed to land an attack on Vegeta, and after doing so the angel used one of his techniques and created several clones of himself, surprising the same. Icarus then ordered his clones to advance and by doing so all of the angel's clones advanced against the Saiyan who began to defeat the clones using precise blows with the energy of destruction, which made the Saiyan's blows even more fatal than before. All clones of Icarus were defeated in a few seconds and after doing so, Vegeta looked at the original Icarus who had finished preparing his strongest technique. Icarus spoke, disappear. Sun devastation, said the angel firing his most powerful attack releasing a wave of energy as intense as the sun, destroying everything that was in the way. Seeing that his attack hit the same with everything, Icarus started to laugh because he thought he had finally managed to kill Vegeta and with that won the fight, but after a few seconds, the dust disappeared and Vegeta appeared with his torn clothes and his chest wounded. The angel Icarus was going to advance against the same when Icarus felt his power fading and he returning to his base form. Vegeta, observing what was happening to Icarus, said, As I said before, this transformation of yours is nothing more than a bad copy of your brother's transformation, and because of that you won't be able to defeat me, said the Saiyan approaching Icarus. Vegeta at high speed went to Icarus and kicked his leg, which due to the force of the kick, broke. Icarus screamed in pain and tried to punch Vegeta who held Icarus's fist and then broke his arm, which left Icarus scared and angry to see his current state. Vegeta then, to finish, held the angel's head and lifted it. Vegeta said, You shouldn't have mentioned my family, you bastard, because of your petulance you had to suffer before you died, but now I'm tired of playing with you, so die at once, you bastard said the same releasing his energy of destruction and disintegrating the body of Icarus who was now dead. Vegeta said, well, now I'll have to go help the warriors of my universe and I think I'll use what Zeno-sama's bodyguards gave me, said the same pressing a button that was given by Zeno's bodyguards and releasing a glow that covered Vegeta's body. After the glow disappeared it was possible to see the Saiyan wearing a God of Destruction suit and then Vegeta left Zeno's planet using his teleportation technique. In the 13th universe, currently in the 13th universe, it was possible to see that the angels who were not participating in the battle were still partying and among them was Khan, who was drinking with his brothers. When suddenly the party stopped, all the angels felt a great power coming in the 13th universe. The angels stopped celebrating and went to see whose great power it was. Upon arriving at the place where they had felt the great power, the angels who were at the party saw several strong angels lying on the ground passed out. The angels began to look for the person responsible when they came across Son Goku who had arrived at that place along with the two Zeno's bodyguard. Khan said, you had the audacity to come to my house and hurt my brothers, you must be a suicide, you mortal idiot, said the angel Khan approaching Goku who began to walk slowly towards Khan. Goku said, how dare you say that, with your brothers invading all 12 universes and killing those who don't kneel before them. I'm not here to defeat you, I want to defeat whoever is controlling all of this, said the Saiyan irritated as he walked slowly over to Khan. Khan said, my brothers and sisters aren't doing anything like that. Our goal was to defeat our father and free the angels from the control of the gods of destruction. Nothing more than that, said the angel, not believing in the Saiyan. Goku said, looks like you don't know what your brothers have been planning, right? But I know that even if you don't know, you won't let me through, so I'll have to defeat him and then stop the mother of angels from killing more people," said the Saiyan still walking towards the angel. Khan said, you are right in assuming that I wouldn't let you pass, you mortal idiot. If you want to defeat someone from my family of angels, first you will have to defeat me, so come and try, saying, said the angel mockingly, already from facing Goku. Goku said, that's what I want Khan, but I'm not going to try. I'm going to get it said the Saiyan standing in front of the Angel Khan. In the 13th universe, currently in the 13th universe, it was possible to see the Angel Khan facing the Saiyan of the 7th universe son Goku. 
Both were staring at each other while the angels who were in the party with Khan helped the angels defeated by Goku. Some angels stayed behind Khan as well as Zenosama's two bodyguards were behind Goku. They were just there to observe the battle end that was going to happen at that moment. One of Zeno's bodyguards said, I'm going ahead, I'm going to protect Mr. Zeno. Meanwhile, you stay here watching the battle and transmitting everything to Mr. Zeno who really wanted to see this fight, said one of the guards while looking at his co-worker, who just nodded in agreement, seeing the other guard leave that spot in a pillar of energy. Khan said, you know that I am an angel, a being superior to mortals like you, right? And not only that, I am the most powerful angel in existence, surpassing even my brother Icarus who was once called the superior angel, and with this power that I have now, I am much stronger than my brother using this full power, so what makes you think he can defeat me? Said the angel in an arrogant way to the same. Goku said, you gained this strength with the help of the other angels who gave their powers to you, I did the same thing, only I didn't take the powers of the angels, I took Zeno's powers and with that power I'm sure that I can defeat you, and then I'll go after the person behind everything that's happening, and I'm sure that person is the mother of angels, said the same while looking at the angel in front of him. Khan spoke, you are a mortal, you will never be able to use Zeno's powers, if you use that power you will die, he spoke the angel not believing in the Saiyajin's words. Goku said, I don't mind dying, I have a family that will live and if I have to die it's so that my family can live, so be it. Said the saint activating the power of superior instinct that Goku dominated completely. Khan spoke, so be it. Said the angel releasing his aura that collided with Goku's, creating cracks all over the place. Goku and Khan were just staring at each other. The aura they were both releasing was intense enough to make every being in that universe and all 12 other universes feel Goku and Khan's energy. Suddenly Goku and Khan disappeared from that place and reappeared one in front of the other in the sky. And at that moment they exchanged the first blow that generated a gigantic impact wave, causing everyone who was watching the battle to be thrown away. The two began to exchange more blows, and each blow generated a large impact wave, which forced all the angels to return inside their base. The angels joined and formed a barrier to protect themselves. Meanwhile, the bodyguard of the Xeno created a simple barrier to protect himself, but even though the barrier was very resistant and could withstand the blows of Khan and Goku. Goku and Khan were fighting at high speed. Almost nobody was able to follow the fight of the two warriors, so both disappeared from that place being teleported by Zeno's bodyguard to a place where they could fight without destroying everything around. Goku and Khan had been sent to the empty world where the tournament of power had taken place. Empty dimension. In the dimension where the tournament of power had taken place, it was possible to see Goku and Khan appearing in that place. Both moved away from each other and looked to where Zeno's bodyguard took them. After recognizing the place, Khan and Goku began to release more power as they knew that the power they were going to release would not affect any of the 12 universes and this motivated them to use their powers with maximum force. Khan said, I'm not going to wait for you to get stronger. After all, Saiyans evolve according to the time of battle, right? I'm going to use my power at full strength. I want to see if you can defeat me using the power you claim to have received from Zeno said the angel activating his full power, which made the whole world tremble and the arena where they were divided into multiple pieces due to the energy of Khan's power. Goku said, since it's like this, let's go with everything this time, said the same releasing all the power he had. Goku then assumed the form he had used against Whis. After releasing their powers, Goku and Khan stared at each other for a few seconds. During that time, Khan was impressed that Goku actually had Zeno's power, and at the same time Khan was afraid, after all Goku could get stronger over time. Of combat, and besides, Goku already had a great power that was Zeno's power. After a few seconds of watching each other, Goku and Khan started hand-to-hand -hand combat at the same time, and an explosion ended up happening when both clashed their fists, then several small explosions were happening. With each blow that the warriors exchanged, everything around shook or exploded. Goku using his new powers managed to make all the debris that was around him go towards Khan who easily destroyed it, but Goku taking advantage of the fact that Khan was no longer focused on him, disappeared and reappeared on top of the angel who ended up receiving a top-down kick that sent Khan slamming into a chunk of the arena. 
Khan got up at the same time and advanced against the same, and when both were close enough, Goku tried to land a blow on Khan's face, but his fist crossed the angel's face, showing that it was a delayed image of Khan who now he was next to the Saiyan who took a punch on the side of his face, but Goku had managed to slightly turn his face, and that way he didn't receive the blow with full force. In doing so the Saiyan turned his body and fired a blast of energy on Khan's face who ended up snarling as he received the Saiyan's blow. Even though Khan felt the pain of the attack, he didn't care much and punched Goku who managed to cross his arms to not take the blow with full force, but because of the impact of the blow, Goku was sent away and Khan wasted no time. Charged at the Saiyan who was dizzy from Khan's previous attack, the high-speed angel started hitting the Saiyan who wasn't able to defend himself. When Khan was going to attack moving, Goku released a wave of energy that made Khan defend himself, and at that time Goku used his teleportation technique and appeared on Khan's back, creating several chains similar to Vado's, Goku put them on Khan and they restricted some of the angel's power. Goku seeing that his plan had worked, smiled before giving a powerful punch to Khan that made him fly out of that place, in a quick movement the Saiyan was already on top of the angel, hitting him with one blow after another. Son Goku kicked the angel and when he looked around, he noticed that there were several clones of the Saiyan who started to give several blows to the angel who was badly injured. However, Khan was not so weak as to be trapped, so the angel released a gigantic wave of energy, causing the chains to be destroyed and most of Goku's clones to disappear. But in doing so, Khan used up a lot of his energy, and Goku, who was far away from that place, was preparing his final attack. Goku said, Omega Kamehameha. Sane shouted more than one kilometer away between him and the angel Khan. Goku, even though he was very far from the angel, fired his attack that became as big as a planet and because of the great speed of the attack, Khan couldn't get out of the way of the attack, so he used all the energy he had to defend himself from the gigantic attack, which ended up destroying everything in its path, even the dimension itself ended up suffering damage because of that attack. Thanks to Goku's attack, Khan became weak and taking advantage of that, the remaining clones of Goku created several chains of energy trapping the angel, then all the clones held the angel, who with all his strength tried to break free, but the energy of Khan was being drained by the chains and in addition the same clones were using all their strength to hold him, and as Khan had spent most of his power not to die, he had become too weak to be able to free himself from the chains. Goku spoke. The power you gained was through a ritual similar to the ritual I used to become a god of destruction and while I was with Zeno-sama's bodyguards, I discovered a way to break the ritual by doing the individual loses the powers he received, I hope you don't mind that I do this to you," said the Saiyan as he floated towards the angel, who struggled trying to free himself, but Khan, being too weak, was not able to get up. Let go of the chains in any way. Khan said, no. I can't lose my powers, I need them to protect my brothers and show them that we don't need to be humiliated by the gods of destruction. He spoke the angel while looking at the Saiyan who was approaching him. Goku spoke, to be honest, I don't care if you want to protect or free your brothers and sisters, the moment your angels attack my universe, use the evil nerves to control my master and try to conquer my planet. I decided that because of that con, you don't deserve to have those powers, so I'll take them away from you, so you won't be a threat to anyone anymore," said the Saiyan approaching the angel, then the body of the angel and the body of Goku began to glow and a large amount of energy came out of the mouth of the angel, being released and dispersed throughout that place, restoring all the damage that Khan and Goku caused. Goku said, okay, now you no longer have the power you used to have, well, since one of the strongest angels has fallen, now all you need is the head that controls everything, said the Saiyan still in his supreme form. Khan said, why are you still talking to me? Kill me at once and end this suffering of mine and this shame I'm feeling right now, said the angel already in his original form while looking down. Goku had already removed Khan's chains. Goku said, no, you don't seem like an evil person to me. You just wanted to protect your brothers and free them from the slavery that some gods of destruction put them. But destroying is not the solution for everything. I will not kill you. Your fate will be decided later. Until this is over they will take care of you for now, said the same pointing to one of Zeno's bodyguards. Goku thought, now we just need to defeat the mind behind all this, thought the same creating a portal and going through it. In the 13th universe. Currently in the 13th universe it was possible to see that all the angels present were prepared for combat as everyone was worried about Khan who had not returned so far and not only that the angels discovered that there was a god of destruction roaming the universes helping the other gods of destruction in the battles against the angels. 
This god of destruction that was wandering through the universes was easily beating all the angels, and to make matters worse, the angel Icarus had been defeated by that same god of destruction. In the place where the angels were, it was possible to see Monica inside her mother's room. Monica and her mother were talking at the moment. Monica said, May, I don't feel Icarus's power anymore, and Khan's power is much weaker than when he performed that ritual to strengthen it. I heard rumors that Icarus had been defeated by a mysterious god of destruction, and I'm sure that rumor is true. And besides, I'm sure that Khan was defeated by the mortal who claimed to possess Zeno's powers, spoke the angel while looking at her mother, who was sitting quietly as if everything that was happening was part of her plan. Sonia said, Don't worry, my daughter. Khan's defeat and Icarus's death won't make the slightest difference in the success of our plan. She spoke to the angel, surprising her daughter. Monica said, Mom, did you plan all this from the beginning? The fall of Khan and the death of Icarus, was this all part of your plan to conquer all the universes? Asked the angel, confused about her mother's words. Sonia said, No, my daughter, I didn't plan any of this. But according to the latest events, I already know what I'll have to do. I just need that mortal who claims to have received Zeno's power to come to me, and only then will victory be for the angels, said the mother of angels as she looked out the window at the landscape. Monica said, How will you beat the one who has the power of the supreme being of all universes, my mother? Even though he didn't have all of Zeno's power, a portion of his power could erase all universes and all living beings in the universes. She spoke to the angel, in doubt about how her mother could defeat the mortal who has Zeno's power. Sonia said, Don't worry, my daughter. You will learn everything at the right moment. And apparently that moment is very close said the mother of angels while she looked out the window and saw a portal being formed, and from it, a being of celestial appearance was coming out, something that made the mother of angels break into a huge smile. In front of the place where the angels were, a portal had been created. This alerted all the angels. From this portal, Son Goku left in his form where he had access to Zeno's power. Seeing the Saiyan and not Khan, the angels advanced against the Saiyan, but Goku with just the swing of his arm caused all the angels to be knocked out immediately and soon after Goku went to the place where Monica and Sonia were. But when arriving at the place, Goku felt a huge weight on his body, and at that moment Sonia started to laugh. Sonia said, It was easier than I imagined. Looks like I won, my daughter. The angel spoke, looking at her daughter Monica, while both saw the Saiyan who had Zeno's power, on his knees before the two angels. Goku said, What have you done to me? asked the Saiyan with a slightly altered voice, because of his transformation. Sonia said, Simple. I created a restriction technique to seal Zeno's powers. Now I just need to kill you and drain your power. And you know what the best part is? There's no one who can stop me right now, said the mother of angels with a big smile on her face as she approached the Saiyan. Monica said, so this was your plan, my mother. The lady planned to steal Zeno's power for the lady and thus conquer everything and even kill Zeno himself, said the angel impressed with her mother's genius. Goku said, even if you restrict me, you wouldn't be able to kill me easily. After all, I'm not alone, said the Saiyan watching Sonia and Monica leave the place because a big explosion had happened. Soon it was possible to see Sonia and Monica side by side and then Goku who appeared on the spot with Vegeta, who was using the power of Ultra Ego in his most powerful state, next to Goku. Vegeta spoke, Not even with Zeno's power did you stop being such an idiot to fall for plans as simple as those of your enemies, Kakarot, said the Prince of Saiyans to his rival. Goku said, I didn't expect her to have a plan to defeat me, but I knew you were coming thanks to that I let my guard down. By the way, I thought you were going to kill her with your attack, but you didn't, said the Saiyan looking at his rival who snorted irritably. Vegeta said, she managed to escape my blow, but even if I hit her, she still wouldn't die. She is the mother of angels, and she won't be killed easily, said the Saiyan while looking at Sonya who was very irritated. Sonya said, I tried to defeat Son Goku using a strategy, but now it's time to use the old brute force, said the angel creating a great blast of energy and shooting against both Saiyans, Goku and Vegeta, who were forced to dodge the attacks of the Mother of Angels. Goku and Vegeta looked at each other and waved, and together the Saiyans advanced against the Mother of Angels, who created two huge energy dragons and shot at the two Saiyans who were forced to face the dragons. But because Goku and Vegeta had a huge force, they managed to destroy the energy dragons easily, advancing again against Sonya. Both Saiyans had managed to get close enough to Sonya, but Sonya had disappeared, and Vegeta and Goku ended up hitting each other. None of them understood why that had happened, until they saw Monika using her space manipulation powers to create portals restricting both Saiyans' movements. 
But soon, as the portal came together and formed a dimensional barrier, seeing the barrier, Goku and Vegeta united their powers and destroyed the barrier. But in doing so, Goku and Vegeta ended up receiving a pillar made of energy. Only that pillar was draining the power of the two Saiyans. Vegeta ended up returning to his base form, and Goku became very weak, reverting to his base form as well. Sonya said, Looks like I won. She spoke to the angel with a big smile on her face. Goku said, Sorry, but we were the ones who won. You thought this whole time that it was me and Vegeta who would defeat you, but in reality, ye will be responsible for defeating you, said the Saiyan while looking up. And when he did, Sonya and Monica looked up in the same direction and saw the Daishinkan alive and stronger than ever. The Daishinkan spoke, It will not be this time that you will dominate all the universes, my dear wife Sonya, and from what you see I'm alive, very, very much alive, and this time I'm even stronger than when our son killed me. The high priest spoke as he floated and landed on the ground. Sonia said, How, how are you alive? said the mother of angels, in a tone of pure fury. The Daishinkan spoke, The super dragon spheres, my child. Wis and Vados managed to gather them and use them to revive all the beings, planets, and things that our children had destroyed. And with that, I'm back to life. About my increase in power, I received some of Zenosama's power, and now I'm even stronger, so I can eliminate you at once said the high priest while looking at Sonia and Monica who was beside her mother. Sonia said, It doesn't matter anymore. Now I already have Zeno's power that I drained from that Saiyan, and the power of destruction from the God of Destruction that I drained that from, the other Saiyan. With that power I will be able to kill you and Zeno. The angel spoke while she looked at the high priest. The Daishinkan said, Sorry, Sonia, but this has been planned for a long time. The high priest spoke, and then Zeno's two bodyguards appeared on each side of Sonia. Soon, Zeno's two bodyguards created two symbols in their hands, and with these symbols, the energy that was in Sonia's ended up being stolen by Zeno's guards. Seeing that Monica tried to do something, but Goku and Vegeta used the rest of their energy and shot the angel, knocking her out. Daishinkan spoke, The battle is over, Sonia, said the high priest while facing the mother of angels, who was on her knees, powerless. One year later. It had been about one year after the death of the angels. The angels that did not die ended up being sealed once again. Only this time they had been sealed in a place where they could never be able to leave. And if they left, they would have to face some challenges. Creatures that were created by the Dashinkan to deal with these angels if that happened. After that great war against the angels, the universes took a while, but they managed to recover, and currently on planet Earth, it was possible to see that everyone was happy rebuilding the things that were destroyed by the angels. Vegeta said, Kakarot, you still can't transform into a Super Saiyan, asked the Prince of Saiyans while looking at his rival. Goku said, no, using Zenosama's power was too great for me. My body suffered a lot of wear and tear, and because of that I can't transform. But from what the Daishinkan said, I must return to normal, one or two years from now at most. But until then I won't stand still. So Vegeta, how about a training without transformations, said the Saiyan to his rival who just gave a smile. Vegeta said, okay. Let's face each other without transforming, said the Prince of Saiyans with a smile, and the two soon began to fly and fight in the air. With that, we'll end today's video. Leave a lot of likes in the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on another day, guys.